Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? It's weird because on uh, on the YouTube broadcast page, it doesn't show that I'm connected. But here in the program, it does. Oh my god, look at all the people already. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I need to know, can you guys hear me? To say yes, if someone can. We can hear you. Okay, great. Okay, uh, I haven't played Doom Eternal in a year. Um, if any of you are still, you know, following the channel, you see that I've been quite busy with a lot of survival horror stuff and some other shooters, and all the RoboCop business. Uh, but hey, you know, it's a special day, so I figure um, I would uh, I'd play the game. But should I do Ultra Nightmare or just Nightmare so I can be kind of casual? I'm not Against sure what to do. All the evil that help. Yeah, I should probably do Ultra Nightmare, shouldn't I? Because I haven't played it in a year. If I play Ultra Nightmare, I might be stuck on these opening levels. It's been a while. I'm just gonna play Nightmare. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna try to treat it like uh, like Ultra Nightmare. I will try my best not to die. Let me open chat. There's a lot of people here. There we go. I see all of you there. Right. So, uh, yeah. Helldivers 2 win. Um, I bought Helldivers 2 a couple days ago. I've been a lot of, I've been really busy with um, some other work outside of gaming. Um, but I have Helldivers, so I'll get to it soon. Uh, but the thing is, I think I want to do Alone in the Dark first. Yeah, let's watch the whole intro. Oh, it's been a while. God. Back is killing me. Hands are not warmed up for this. But hey, let's have some fun. Oh, tabbing out pauses it. Oh, that's too bad. So, hello everyone. Happy anniversary. Happy four year anniversary. Gosh, the game changed a lot of stuff for us. Oh, um. Dear Putin, well, congratulations. We must pray now, pray. TS says, 2016 in Eternal ruined Doom for all eternity. Goddamn first person clones of PS2 era God of War games barely qualify as FPS, definitely not Doom games. Uh, these games being kind of like old school God of War is the best thing about them, man. Game is a lot of fuck. Okay, uh, let me adjust that. I don't normally stream through this software, so uh, I'll make that adjustment. Uh, headset down. I'll drop that by 10 dB. And tell me how the sound is now, okay? We have the hell priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. How's that? Volume of uh, comparative voice. Should I drop it lower? Way too low now? Wow, okay. Uh, I'll cut it in half. Minus five. There we go. I'll adjust it as, uh, as I go along. In my sound settings, I normally have, uh, where is it? Yeah, you see here how I have sound volume set kind of low? So I have the music louder. All right. All right, still immediately feels good. Fuck off. Oh, I'm playing with no HUD? Wow, I must have been recording something with no HUD last time I opened this game. I never play with no HUD. So, uh, let's try it. When will you play Blasphemous 2? 
Um, I have no plans on playing Blasphemous 2. I'm not against it, I just don't own it and it's not a priority. How many times your first Ultra Nightmare took? Uh, how long did that take? It took... Jeez, I don't know. I honestly don't remember. It probably took... It took a lot of tries to get through the first three levels. I couldn't tell you, it was four years ago. How's my FOV? I still remember that command, GFOV. There we go, 125, that's what I like. And I'm already running in circles. <laughs> bitrate is really low? Hmm, bitrate is low. Okay, uh, tell you what, I think if I lower my own resolution in game, it should help. So I'll just go to full screen and go to 1440. And then we'll see if that helps the bitrate at all. All right, give it a minute and, and tell me if it clears up any, okay? I played Wolfenstein. Uh, I mean, I played the original Wolfenstein. I played um, uh, I play a little bit of the New Order. I play a little bit of Two. I'm not a big fan of the new game, to be honest. If you guys are used to watching speedrunners, I apologize. Okay, let me check chat real quick. I want to keep up with everybody. It's a special day. What editing software do I use to use my, edit my videos? I use Adobe Premiere. Um, well, hello everybody. Uh, Broom Blender, Bender, uh, Gisherson, what's up? Um, hello everybody. Donlo, what's going on? Bitrate is still not great. Ah, uh, man, I don't really know what I can do about that. I'll try lowering my game to 1080p. See if that does anything. All right, tell me if that's any better, okay? What's my favorite Doom Eternal level? I love Erdak. Uh, Art Complex or or Erdak probably. Tell me if the uh, bitrate improves any, please. If it doesn't, then there's nothing I can do. I mean, I, I'm on a wired connection. Up the bitrate on my recording software. I mean, it should already be good, shouldn't it? Okay, let me try outputting higher bitrate. Apply. Okay. Uh, I'm running 6K. Let me know if it's uh, Ur Urdak's an interesting pick. I love Urdak for the aesthetics. I love I love jumping between the large platforms. I think that's really cool. Um, I love the arena fights in Erdak as well. First Hell Priest 
has been Remember how much I was blown away by seeing this sight. How do you think it can innovate in the next Doom game? Uh, well, I mean... Jesus. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um... I just want them to have... I just want it to have a different feel. Hey, Renegade! With the, uh... 1999... Pounds, I believe? Um... Says, Thanks for all the content. It's awesome. Your analysis and reviews are got here. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Very, very nice of you. Thank you for the contribution as well. It's much better now? Way better? Okay, so maybe I can up my resolution. Let's try that real quick. Upping to 1440, because I am playing on a 32-inch 4K monitor, and it's, uh, you know, 1080p is not the best. Alright, so t let me know if this resolution and this bit rate are better. I skipped the codec page? Yes, I did, didn't I? Outriders anniversary stream? No, thank you. It's alright. Cool. Get faltered. Game audio is quite loud. Okay. Dropping by four decibels. You guys just let me know. I'll eventually get the stream where it needs to be. Yeah, full auto here is, is, is not the best. Favorite master level? Ooh. Uh, I might have to go Super Gore Nest on that one. Yeah, I shake it up. I, I do a little full auto here, a little, uh, little uh, sticky bombs. I'm waiting for the Kaku Demon here because of the uh, Kaiser campaign. What C with GPU and CPU? I have a Asus 4070 Ti, and I have a Ryzen 7900. Music could be louder. Okay, well then I'll need to drop the game volume to 50. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! I okay. This is why I don't like playing with no HUD because I don't know what uh, what my ammo situation is. Uh, I'm I'm putting the HUD back on. That's what I hate about no HUD. I'm not good with with knowing that. Anyone who plays no HUD, you know, respect to you. Sucks. Well, yeah, I do, but I, I also haven't played this game in a year. I missed. I missed. I cannot believe that. Yeah, it's crazy. This was four years ago, right? Did I hear about, uh, someone says, did I hear about uh, a game where they added Praise Goo Gun with infinite ammo as an ability called the Finals? I've heard the name of the Finals, but I haven't actually played it myself. Lower Rants, haven't played since the DLC. Oh yeah, that's a while then. I haven't played in probably a little over than a year.
figure out how much damage you take on Nightmare. Are, are there still people whining about how Doom 2016 was better? Well, I mean, if you think Doom 2016 was better, then that's fine. I mean, people can have their preferences. But no, the people who bitch about Doom Eternal still are the people who just, like, couldn't, just can't get over it. The rest of us have moved on. Thanks for recommending Deadlink. Oh, you're welcome. Deadlink is a fantastic game. Oh, shit. I forgot how much damage you take on Nightmare. It's crazy. I forgot I had this. Dude, dude, 2016 is way better? I disagree. I think the only thing that 2016 is better at is atmosphere. I don't think it's better at anything else. Is the game on the Switch? Yes, it is on the Switch. Remember Dying Light? I do remember Dying Light. I remember all my keybinds. Resident Evil 4 or Doom Eternal? Oh, I go Doom Eternal. I think I think RE4 is absolutely incredible, but I think Doom Eternal is kind of one of those once in a generation titles. Oh, oh, I didn't have didn't have chainsaw. 2016 subjectivity had better Doom had better better McGordon tracks. I'd say overall, yeah, but I mean, like, I might prefer 2016 soundtrack more. But I mean, there's there's certain songs on on Eternal I can't live without. kind of fun to suck at this game again. Yeah, that's what's great about taking a long break from games that you're good at. Get toasted, buddy. That's, that's one thing I like about uh, taking long breaks from Resident Evil 1, is that I can... I can forget what I'm supposed to do, and I have to actually think about where I'm going again. That's a wonderful feeling. Ever managed to bind two weapons to the same key? No, no, I haven't. Am I gonna watch the new Ghostbusters? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably watch it, out of curiosity. There were things I liked about the last one and things that I didn't. Yeah, so I mean, for any of you that watch this, the the streamers and the speedrunners, I mean, hopefully uh, this is uh, refreshing to you just to see someone just kind of struggling again, getting lost, forgetting what they're doing. Twenty sixteen is great for mindless play. Journal is great for active attention. I think they, well, I think they both can offer that depending on your difficulty. 
Like, if you want mindless play in Eternal, and you're not that, that good, you know, play on easy. I mean, the first time I played 2016, I wouldn't call that mindless. I got my ass kicked. New X-Men 97 is pretty great. Oh, is that already out? I'm curious. But, I mean, I, I don't really know how to judge it. I mean, I, li I loved the original when I watched it, but I was a little tiny child, so... I mean, I don't know how to judge a, a new kid's cartoon at my age. Wow, this is how rusty I am. I'm actually struggling with this. Ooh, two for one. What's going on? Hello, everybody. Conflict, what's going on? I will grab the armor. Still one cycle marauders. Oh, I doubt it. That still feels great. Conflict. Yeah, I've had the bug. I've had the itch in me lately to play, and I figure, hey, it's the 40th anniversary. I haven't played in over a year. Uh, let's just touch base with the viewers and, and have some fun. Wait, what am I? I'm missing you. There we go. I keep on getting these into these notifications and I don't know what they are because I don't see them. Look at all these goddamn sounds happening. Oh, they're on Steam. Oh, Titanium. Well, I, I, I've missed doing them. The gathering of hell priests is located just above your location. My scans right. indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility. So I've, uh, yeah, I'm in, I plan on playing Chrono, no, Chrono Trigger, why do I think, why did I think Chrono Trigger? Helldivers 2, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do Alone in the Dark, um, I have a video, oh, I'm excited about a video coming out soon on my channel, and it's about, I'm gonna talk about Silent Hill Downpour for a little bit. The con maker is present at this gathering. What do you think Alexander it is doing for the next game? Um... Well, I think they're either doing the next Doom after such a long break. I mean, it's been four years, and we don't even have an announcement of a new game. So I think whatever it is, it'll be Doom. Or it'll be um, something else that's, like, IP-based. There was that rumor that they're doing a Star Wars game, which I hope to God is not true. Um, but uh, it's either one of those two things, I guess. I highly doubt it will be Quake. I don't think Quake is a big enough IP to justify current in software budget. From the souls of the non-believers, 
Um, Sirena, uh, I will play Arkham Knight eventually. I liked City enough to where I, I'm curious. As much as I would like to see an id Software Quake game, I just don't think that them as a company owned by Microsoft and, and ZeniMax, where they need to make hundreds of millions of dollars on a five-year development budget, I don't think their next game will be Quake, because I don't think Quake will sell that well. Blob, did you see the official mod support leaks for Doom Eternal? Yes, I have seen the leaks. Uh, I'd rather not comment until I see some kind of official announcement. But of course, mod tools, wonderful. Uh, Dsook says, funny that I just found your channel yesterday in the last video I've seen here 15 minutes ago was about you taking a break from Eternal. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a funny little coincidence there. But yeah, I haven't played the game in over a year. If they make another Doom game, I'm going to be upset. Tag 2, kill the fucking devil, all the demons are gone, what the hell is there? Um, you could tell the story between 2016 and Eternal. You could tell the story of the Doom Slayer becoming the Doom Slayer. You could tell the story of what of what made him who he was when 2016 started. I think there's a lot of things you could do with Doom. Okay. Can't remember. What do you do here? Yeah, okay, you go and pick this up. How do you okay, what was the skip it was like switch pickup. Ah, I missed it. Didn't they say they were not gonna do a quick game? I don't know if they said that. Staying alive. Loot magnet, right? And go for an ammo boost. As long as the game's fun, I don't really care. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. I mean, I really hope it's not Star Wars. Because I don't care about Star Wars. But even if it is a Star Wars game, I believe in id Software's talent and Hugo Martin's creative uh, directive lead skills. And so I, whatever they do, I think will be good. They rebooted Classic Doom 1 and 2 would be awesome to play. Hell yeah, that'd be great. Like an actual Doom remake of... Tell yeah, because you know what? Look, as much as I do like the Doom Slayer, and I like his mythology, and I like his story, uh, not so much the DLC stories, but I like his, him as a character, um, I don't like the whole fate aspect. I don't like the idea that he was created or something like that. I don't like that at all. I like the idea of this is a badass dude that survived these events of these first game and then became something special. He became something more because because of, of who he is, because of what he does. I like that. I don't like I don't like the the chosen one stuff in Doom. I think that makes him less badass. How's the From Software Marathon going? Yeah, up next! Dark Souls 3! I've completely forgotten. Better not get air control. You know that's the first thing I'm getting. Every single cutscene in this game is corny as fuck. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's exaggerated. It's a little over the top. Where's air control? There we go. 
When did I play last? Uh, a little over a year ago. I'm very, very rusty. What was I saying? I was saying something. Uh, Davide says, Hi Mayo, I'm a longtime viewer. What do you think of the rumored update that's going to bring mod tools? Um, not going to comment much on the speculation, uh, but of course it would be wonderful, right? I mean, how could it not be? And if that happens, then my god, the floodgates will open and we'll see some fucked up stuff. Um, yeah, I learned slob, uh, and it's cool, right? Um, I I used it, I think, a little bit in my 1440p um, Modern Doom playthrough from 2020. Because I was just trying to showcase a bunch of stuff, but punch swapping, no, I don't really have any interest in punch swapping. Play with the weapon view model mod. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm not playing with any mods right now. I built a new PC last year, and uh, all, all the mod stuff is not set up. Have I ever tried Rage 2? No, I have not. I haven't even tried Rage 1. Wait. Uh, oh yeah, the cutscenes. Yeah, uh, the cutscenes are a little over the top and a little tongue-in-cheek, but I don't think they're cringe at all. Like, I love the cutscene in this level where he kneels before the king. I, I, I did that's like the best moment. Whoa. Cool. I'm a speedrunner. Brawler mode run when? I would have to really get back into this game to play brawler mode. If Dead Space 2 remake happened, what stuff would I keep and change? Uh, I keep Isaac toned down. Uh, I would expand more on the the chasing thing, and I would make that a little more fun. Yes, good cutscene here. I just love this. I this is my favorite character moment of Modern Doom. This is this is like when you see him bashing in the the power stuff in 2016, and you get the the feeling that he doesn't care. This character moment is so fucking good because he's the most badass killer in the universe, but he still shows the respect to the king in his kingdom in the place where he was taken in and made to be the leader of their forces. I, that is so fucking good. It's a subtle moment. But it's great. I'm 
Am I fond of racing games? Uh, I wouldn't call myself a, a, a big racing genre fan. But, um, I love Wipeout. I love the, the combination Wipeout, uh, you know, has with combat. You know, when I was playing the Arkham games, um, I really thought that maybe, um, maybe they had taken influence, oh shit, maybe they had taken influence from Arkham for, for, for Doom, because, um, Arkham has all these enemies that are like, they, they have mechanics that make you switch your tactics and stuff like that, and I could really feel that Doom Eternal kind of fun zone when playing Arkham, which is, which is great. Who are we going to fight? Slayer versus Master Chief or Kratos? Ooh. I might have to go with my boy Kratos. Have I tried Arkham Knight? No, not yet. I own it, but I haven't played it yet. Whoa! Teleporting motherfucker! love these arenas like th these are the arenas where you really start to realize like versus hell knights where you start really start to realize like oh okay mobility the space control is really important in this game i love it do you think the defense in arkham games are broken um it seems a little mindless when facing enemies that don't know how to deal with it But when they start throwing in guys that shoot at you and stuff like that, it becomes a lot more interesting. Any whiskey? Actually, I'm drinking some uh, Kraken White Rum. Do I own a PS2? I do. How's my day been? Day's been good. Uh, I woke up and did some cleaning because I didn't. Uh, I had I had some work to do. I had some cleaning to do. I cleaned the kitchen for like two hours. And uh, there's my baby in my plasma. Um, I'm meeting some friends tonight. So, I, I would call today a good day. Gotcha. Get faltered. Mmm! Aw, oh, man. If the faltering system doesn't come back in the next game, I will be a little, a little disappointed. forget about double dash no I, I I know that you can dash twice what's up Dan since how you doing buddy it's been a while oh I got it first try show us your SVS I don't know what that means all right you know you know we're going microwave beam Doof money. No, I don't have anything to recommend here. Okay, uh, there we go. I got the skip. Very good. Very good. Back 
microwave beam is so fucking good. God, I love it. Oh wait, upgrades. Yeah, let's go. We're going straight into microwave beam. Got a hot dog. Yeah, we have to get a hot dog. This is why you get air control early. Any weapon you would remodel or buff? Uh, yeah, the chain gun. I'm not a big fan of how the chain gun looks or even feels. Even I love that it fires quickly. That's about it, though. It, Mayo, since this year looks pretty dry, predicting Arkham City taking number one spot. Number one! That's a bold prediction, my friend. No, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh my god. Oh my god, you fucking asshole! Just get cooked, man. That was awful. Am I playing the new Alone in the Dark? I intend to. I think I'm going to play it tomorrow. Uh, G-Man said he liked it, so I'm going to check it out. Tom Havoc, this is your first time seeing Doom Eternal? Well, uh, shit. Stay still. Gotcha. Get faltered. Ugh. Good end. Good end. That's one of the you know that's one of the rookie mistakes that people make when they play this game, and they're like, I never have any ammo. End your fights with a chainsaw. And you and just work the chainsaw into. The natural feeling of gameplay. Use it for the iframes. Like right there, I got hit, I use the chainsaw. Use it for the iframes. You know, gather yourself, think, take a breath. Chain gun is, is tired of quick switching. Yeah, totally. Because the game wasn't made around quick switching. It was made around general weapon variety. So, a chain gun is, is a great weapon when you're playing like that. That's the, like, the weirdest criticism that I hear about this game sometimes. Where they're like, they're like you have to be quick switching. Like, well, no, you don't. It wasn't even built or balanced around quick switching. Okay, microwave beam. There we go. Um, in my opinion, what is your favorite enemy to this day? Favorite enemy to this day in this game? Uh, I think it's got to be the carcass. I think the carcass is, is insanely good enemy. Do I think destructible environment would fit for a human terminal like game? It could be. Yeah. Did I play RoboQuest? I did not. Has there been any official announcement for the anniversary? Um, I mean, there might be something on Twitter about it, but I haven't seen it. Am 
Everyone's favorite. Purple goo. Yeah, but the carcass is just brilliant. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Played Helldivers 2? No, but I purchased it. Uh, I purchased it a couple days ago, so I will play it. What would be the worst, most unusable weapon? Well, there is no unusable weapon. I think every weapon has its place, some more than others. Especially depending on your playstyle. Uh, but, I mean, on a high level, maybe mobile turret. But, I mean, what, what are the weakest mods, like, on, on in, in high-level play? Weakest mods are mobile turret, full auto, and, uh, and microwave beam, right? Though microwave beam, I think, it has, has a, a far more uses than it is given credit for. Which is why I did like three guides on it. Hopefully, you didn't buy the game that pretended to be Held Iris 2. I don't know what that means. No damage run? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm the same. My skill has significantly dropped. Isn't there a way out of here? I think there is right here. No? I don't remember. Oh well. Bullet sort of killer against pain elementals. Yeah, I like it. Like, some of these mods, I mean, look. This is what's weird when we talk about Doom Eternal weapon balance. They're like, oh, some of the mods are useless. Okay, well, yeah, on a high level. There are a few mods that fall through the cracks. But look, on a high on high level Doom Eternal play, you see Precision Bolt, you see Sticky Bombs, you see Energy Shield, you see Heat Blast and, and Microwave Beam, you see Arbalist, you see Destroyer Blade, you see both grenade types being used. Like, that's a hell of a lot of weapon variety. And then there's a few that you can use for fun if you like them, which is how I feel about it. How long will the stream be going for? Oh, I don't know. I gotta go in like four hours, so if I don't beat it in four hours, I'll have to, I'll have to cut it. campaign one or the tag two one. Well, no, I don't like it. I don't like anything about tag two story. So the main one, of course. Lock-on is mostly used over remote debt. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it definitely is. But remote debt is also really a really good mod and fits other playstyles. Like, not everyone plays this game the same way. Not everyone is a, is a ultra nightmare punch-swapping madman, right? What would I change in, in Tag 2 Story? I, I would make... I would not make it to where the Doom Slayer was created by the Dark Lord. I did not like that 
one bit. I collected all the achievements. I did a 100% run um, when the game came out. And then that was it. Oh, get faltered! Where are you going? Blood Swamps or Arc Complex? Ooh, that's right, I forgot about Blood Swamps. Blood Swamps might be my favorite Doom Eternal level. It's got a great flow to it. Will I be doing any Horde mode soon? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm just here to play for the anniversary and, you know, talk to everybody, have a good time before I gotta go. Oh, I skipped the cutscene. Oh, sorry. Why under the mayo and not above the ketchup? Because... Because that's not what I said. That's not what I said when I said it, and so that's not what gets stuck in my head. 15 years ago. Aside from Doom news and updates, will we expect more videos such as game reviews and future mod reviews on this channel? Uh, well, I'll... Yeah, I've been doing game reviews and strategy and opinion pieces and podcasts, interviews for like four years now. So, yeah, I, mean, I just put out a mod review of the Resident Evil 2 fixed camera. You know, that one did alright, it got like 27,000 views. Uh, not bad for a mod. Um, I just put out a video on the camera style of old Silent Hill games. Uh, but I don't really have anything to say about Doom right now. Uh, I gotta wait for a new game. I mean, I stopped talking about this game for a reason. I didn't have anything else to say, and if I did, I would be forcing it. And I don't think you guys want to see me talking about stuff that I don't actually want to talk about, just to, for traffic, right? I don't think you want to see that. Hey, hey, hey! Time to get cooked!
like to see more MK1. Look, I haven't played MK1 since November. I've watched some competitions and they've been fun, but I've just been so put off by by the way the game is handled and WB and just like, man. I just don't, I'm just not in the mood to play MK. Especially because I want to be playing it on PC and it doesn't work. Uh, Midnight still doing Doom content. Yeah, he seems to have found a pretty nice niche for himself doing a bunch of like old mod reviews. Things are going well for him. What difficulty? This is Nightmare, but I'm trying to treat it like Ultra Nightmare. Like, I'm trying not to die. Alright, where do you go first? When will you play the first Devil May Cry games? I already beat Devil May Cry 1. Um, that was about three days ago. So, uh, I'm working on a script for it right now. I will do a video on it. Any idea of Doom's next game? Uh, I, I don't know, and even if I did know, I couldn't tell you. Grimm says, oh, okay, I respect your opinion videos. I hate God of War 2. I don't hate it. You know, like, there's things I like about it. I hate what they did to it. I don't hate the game itself. Uh, I, it's a complicated feeling. Hey, Venom, happy four years. Karen Took says, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I like DMC1. DMC1 was a better first-time playthrough than DMC5 was by a mile. Ever play Outlast? Yeah, I played. I played like four hours of Outlast, and I get it. Uh, I, I enjoyed some of it, but after four hours, I was kind of like, uh, uh, I felt like I was just walking through areas and picking up batteries and running. I need something more. That's what I like about Amnesia, the bunker. I mean. How many hours do you have in Doom? Well, in Doom 2016, I think I have like 800, and then in this one, I think I have maybe 1300. Skip DMC2? No, I'm not gonna skip DMC2. I, I can't say that I'll finish DMC2 if I don't like it, but uh, I'm definitely gonna try it. Which which is the game that has the hot ch that that hot ass chick with the short black hair? Maggie. Yeah, I'm getting that a lot. A lot of people say they want to get back into the game just watching me play. It's easy to fall right back into the magic of this. I'm still very comfortable, though. That's three? Okay, well, I'm definitely playing three. Yeah, I played Doom 2016 a fuckload. I played it so much. I was in love with that game for like three years. That's why Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal was such a huge deal to me. Because I was the biggest 2016 fan. When, when, Eternal, when Eternal came out, it was like a religious, a religious event for me. And those, those first couple days, playing Doom Eternal for the first time, man, I wish I could go back to that. That was one of the best days ever. I think about 2016 these days. It's hard for me to 
it's hard for me to enjoy a lot, you know? I still like it a lot, but I just it just doesn't hold up as well as Eternal does. I still love the mood of it. I love some of the level design. It just, it just doesn't have this feel. Yeah, 1300 hours in Eternal. Yeah! Dude, I played the fuck out of it. I made videos on it for two years straight. I did mod reviews. I, 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 I opened it for lots and lots of recording purposes. I played it with friends. I, I brought people over to my house and I showed them how to play. Yeah, 13 hours was e 1300 hours was easy to rack up. I love micro beam because you can just kind of like, eh, just turn it on and be like, you stay there. Oh fuck, I don't have my my grenade switch um, found. Oh god. Got it. There you go, that's what I want my grid to use this for. Um shit. How do I how do I bind that? I need to open uh what's the Logitech G Hub? Hold on, I'm I'm binding a key really quick. Give me a second. Um how do I uh assignments search for Command, view two, DPI shift button. I don't remember how to do this. Macro, keys, create a new macro, H key, uh, don't repeat. I don't remember how to do this. I'm going to have to set it to another key. I don't want to waste your time. All right. Yeah, because I used to have it set to my DPI switch button, which was really convenient. So let's set it to... Switch equipment. Left alt, huh? Okay. That's what Jackie used to use, so I'll use that. Left alt. Okay, that's fine. Have you ever considered doing a full video on Prey? Yeah, I recently announced that um, when I hit 150,000 subscribers, I'll do a full video on Prey. So uh, hit that subscribe button and rec recommend your the recommend the channel to your friends. Do you prefer third person or third per first person? Uh, first person for shooters, third person for action games. I don't have a preference in general. Um, I mean, the last time I checked, the the PS uh, the, the the PC version of uh, MK1 is not fixed. That's why I stopped playing. I'm tired of that shit. Ever play Fortnite? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I I've played a little bit of Fortnite.
Oh! Opinion on Malagog boss fight. What's the Malagog? I'm going in here with no chainsaw fuel, okay. Is it even an option for you to play Eternal or any quick FPS on a gamepad? I've done a couple of playthroughs on Nightmare of Doom Eternal with controller. I can do it, I just don't enjoy it as much. Uh, Riggs Mordo, oh that's fantastic. I love, that's one of my favorite things about doing this YouTube stuff is hearing from people that picked up a game because I told them to check it out and then they loved it, that's great. Yeah, this is the ultimate nightmare killer for sure. Uh, Rosalita FGC, thank you, appreciate that. Suit. Hot swapper. Oh, yeah, you know what we gotta do, right? Remote debt, for sure. Oh, we're back! Yes! And now we can bring full auto back in for sure. Opinion on Hump or Dead Key? I mean, Hump is a cool fucking dude. Uh, I don't know Dead Key very well. Uh, I think we've only talked a couple times, but I mean, so. seems fine to me. doing a lot of glory kills so I think I should go let's go with uh, fast glory kills have I tried Tekken 8? No I uh, I downloaded the demo but I haven't tried it Overdrive says no joke I picked up Ultra Kill after your review because I wanted to see for myself if you can actually play the first act with only the pistol yeah well that probably wasn't very fun was it I can't wait till Act 3 comes out. I already have like the first half of my script in my mind. Microwave Beam has really good synergy with Full Auto. Nope. Uh, 
Raptor. Hey, Raptor, what's up? Let's give um, um, Doom Slayer a yo yo. Yeah, sure, why not? Is RE5 remake uh, confirmed and opinions? Uh, I mean, I haven't heard any confirmation, but I mean, there's already a shitstorm over a remake that doesn't exist. <laughs> Toki, really? <laughs> That's funny. The beast. Concussive blast. Falter. It's gonna be great. To me, my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly safe. Oh yes, I missed that so much. That's some of my favorite tech in this game. I thought he was already stunned. Why didn't I play Ghost Runner 2? I did play Ghost Runner 2. I played a little bit of it. It was cool. It was Ghost Runner. Oh, wait, did I not equip my... Yeah, I forgot. No, it is. Okay. Ah! It faltered. Da, 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 da. What number is this? I don't know, maybe five. Oh, I missed him. That's that's gonna cost me. Blade Runner 2049? Yeah, I, I love Blade Runner 2049. I actually like it more than the original. Any thoughts on LEGO games? I've never played any LEGO games. Uh, Slayer says, uh, I know you did a review on Halo Infinite. You're probably not a multiplayer guy, but Halo Infinite has been doing better now. Yeah, I thought, I've heard about that. And if, ever thought about playing it again? No, because my main concern is the single player of Halo Infinite. And it uh, doesn't sound like they've fixed the campaign. I mean, the campaign is still just like go around and hit switches and then listen to this girl talk and then go around and hit more switches and uh, then go to a couple outposts and save some guys that it doesn't even matter if you save them. So, I mean, I'm not interested. There's no, there's nothing to do. There's no actual missions. So if the multiplayer is in a better place, I'm very happy for the Halo Infinite fans. I am. Great. Are they still being charged, you know, out their ass for skins? When are you going to play Batman Arkham Knight? Uh, I don't know, but it'll probably be this year. 
Any thoughts on Turtle losing game of the year? At, uh, well, I mean, I think it should have won. Those are my thoughts. Uh, Brazilian friend, I'll, uh, you're welcome. It's, it was one of my one of the favorite things I've ever done on this channel is is the research into the faltering system. Stop it. Graves says, it's a bit of a shame you didn't obtain that ultra kill brain rot, but I guess I can understand. Uh, no, I, I don't want to be like them at all. I like the game, though. Ultra kill is a good game. I enjoy it. I am excited to get back to it when Act 3 is finished. Your salvation lies in his destruction. The of the Do I play any competitive us. online games? I don't. I used to. I used to do a lot of online uh, Unreal Tournament 2004. Uh, you know, and of course I'm a Mortal Kombat player, so I do online there. And, but uh, that's it. Fucking blow! Yeah, fuck that shit. Your super shotgun is nearby. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. I love location. that he says, your super shotgun. Forgot about that. Oh, man. Wrong button. That's not going to help me, is it? Yeah, I might as well be playing controller. I'm playing so bad. Attention, all mortally challenged personnel. The Slayer is inside the facility. Please proceed with aggression. Oh, that didn't go as planned, did it? Stop it. Will I ever play Black Ops Zombies? I played Black Ops 1 Zombies a lot uh, back in 2011. Oh, 20, yeah, I guess 20, 2010, 2011. I played that a bunch until MK9 came out. Is this Ultra Nightmare? No, it's just Nightmare, but I am trying to play it as seriously as possible to not die. I don't want to come back to this game after over a year and then do a stream of Ultra Nightmare where I'm trying to keep up with the chat as much as I can. That's just going to be a disaster. Uh, Traps Masters. Do I play... Wait. Box Color... Box Killer! Says, do you play any Monster Hunter? No, I've never played a Monster Hunter game. Traps Master says, I wonder what's next for shooters because we really can't do anything crazier, faster, than more, more chaotic and more complex than Ultra Kill, Turbo Overkill, and Doom Eternal. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I would like to see a shift. I'd like to see something different. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, Sian Mason says, um, Hey, May, are you looking forward to any games coming out soon? Pretty dead year for me. Same here. I don't really care about anything. I'm going to check out Helldivers 2, but there's nothing coming out this year that has me excited. Quick draw belch. I think we got to go quick, quick draw. Demon is king. What's up with yourself?
points. I'm into the Max Payne games. I never played any of the Max Paynes. I would, though. Um, James Mayo, would you have preferred if RE4 OG never came to be? It's a very good game, but it spawned a lot of bad stuff after. I don't think it spawned a lot of bad stuff after. I think it just created something new, which is fine. Um... But, as great as RE4 is, I, I do wish that it had been something else. No, I'm not playing that game. That's, that's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, I thought the one up there was him. Ha! That's funny. My buttons are all confused, man. God damn it. Oh, Raccoon City Slayer, uh... You can't be guaranteed that I'm even going to make a video on it. A lot of stuff I play, I just think, okay, cool, and then I, I put it down, and I don't have anything to say, so... Uh, who knows? Uh, Nathan says, what would be your honest thoughts if Sweet Baby Inc. is involved in the development of the next Doom title? My honest thoughts would be that I would be genuinely shocked. I would be shocked and fairly concerned. Would I consider covering the Evil Within games? No. I've played both of them a little bit and I don't have much to say. How do you... Wait, how do you... Jetpack, right, right click, okay. Oh, I remember how badass I thought this was when it first happened. I was losing my mind. I was like, oh my god, I'm playing with a revenant. Don't forget how much we value that stuff on a first time playthrough, guys. Even if it is a gimmick that doesn't really mean much on repeat playthroughs. Always remember the value of these, of these moments on the first time. on uh, Nightmare. How? Uh, let's see. Um, more is he hello. Welcome. Um, Tesseract said, oh, your name looked really cool. How do you feel about being the source of an entire Ultra Kill speedrun category? I think it's awesome. I think it's funny and it's awesome. I mean, like, I don't care where it comes from. How many people get a speedrun category named after them? I don't care that it's in mockery.
yeah, faster meat hook, for sure. They have stopped using air control. No, I love the way air control feels. Wait, what is the goal of your speedrun category? The goal of my speedrun category is to use only the pistol. Only the piercer, I believe. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. It sounds like a miserable way to play the entire game, but hey. I respect the challenge. because it makes campaign players worse at battle mode. Uh, oh, oh, oh no! Oh my god, no, really? Well then, let me turn it off now. Shinobi's cool. And there's a new Shinobi coming out, right? A, a Shinobi from the creators of, uh, or from the team of Streets of Rage 4. This would be awesome. That's right, yes, that's right. That sounds boring as fuck, but, you know, if people want to do it, they can do it. Um, are you gonna try out Ghost Runner 2? Yeah, I already did. I played it for a few hours. It's, it's cool. I just haven't gotten back to it. Uh, but it still has the same fucking problems as Ghost Runner 1. It's just the stories, just a guy talking at you, talking at you, talking at you. And then they break up the levels with these stupid VR missions where you're running around collecting balls. And when I saw that, I got kind of pissed off and I didn't really want to go back to it. Um, what are your favorite fighting games of the last five years? Uh, well, I'm just a Mortal Kombat guy, so uh, just, you know, MKX, so five years, I guess just MK1, I don't really play other fighters. Um, do you see the teaser for the new Alien movie? No, I'm not going to watch the teaser because I already intend on watching the movie. I don't watch teasers or trailers for movies I already know I'm going to see. That way I can be, uh, you know, you surprised as much as possible. Yet. 
about Tekken. I don't play Tekken. I watch a little Tekken here and there. I'm more of a fighting game appreciator. I play MK. That's the one I like to play, and then I like to watch other fighters. Oh, yeah, Server Steel's awesome. I played it. I played a few hours of it. opinion online doesn't matter. Okay. Great. Uh, do you think the next Doom game will be coming out this year, 2025? Um, I anticipate 2025. Since they were kind of shut down for two years because of the pandemic. So Lockwood comes out in 70 days. I can't wait. I think I'm going to get it early. I hope so, anyway. But I'm excited to play it. What inspired the name of your channel? I was working at a restaurant, and uh, somebody ordered a burger, and uh, after I already placed the order, they flagged me down, and they were like, hey, can you put something on it? They were like, like onions or something. I don't know. They wanted to put something on it. So I went back to the kitchen, and I told the cook, I was like, hey, Table 33 wants uh, onions on their burger. And the, uh, the cook said, well, where do you want me to put it on the burger? And the question was just so strange to me. I was like, because, you know, just put it on it. Just put it on. So I panicked. I said, uh, I don't know. Just put it under the mayo, I guess. And under the mayo just kind of stayed in my head as like a, a catchy phrase that's fun to say. And me and my friend, when we were young, we used to have this list of, of things we thought sounded like funny names for bands. And so we added that to the list, a list of like 20 names. And then in 2010, I was playing... Uh, Black Ops Online and I needed a username uh, so I just picked that and I didn't care about it it didn't mean anything and then Mortal Kombat 9 came out I started making videos I made the channel I picked I, I stayed with that with that name people started calling me Mayo and then the rest is history how do you feel about the RTS genre in this day and age ah uh, man I, it's just a dead genre isn't it it needs something amazing, right? Doesn't it? It needs something great to come back. It needs a, a super amazing Command and Conquer or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it's just a maybe it's it's just a series that's relegated to the indie scene at this point. Um let's see, any hope for the latest rumors regarding mod support? Yeah, I mean if that's confirmed, that'll be amazing, right? It'll be a great new era. Valentino says, I thought you were done with Doom Eternal. Yes, but today is the four-year anniversary. I haven't played it in over a year, and so I'm here to play it. I should do a Ghost Runner hardcore mode. Uh, yeah, maybe. Look, I like Ghost Runner. It's cool, but, like, I don't... I'm not in love with it or anything. I kind of have other things I'd rather do. Hey, Mayo, could cook me up a stir-fry setup, won't you? Yeah, sure. One stir-fry. Coming up. That's for you. Whoa.
I still hate that you can't switch grenade types when you're in uh, an animation. Are there any mods that fix that? Surfry setup is awesome. It's like one of my favorite setups in, in this game that I that I put together. What do you think is the funniest glory kill? Funniest? I don't know. You have to give me a selection. I can't really think of them. The next Doom will be the best Doom. Oh. Possibly. Uh, it's not going to have the same impact. It, like... Doom Eternal for me is a game like Mortal Kombat 9. It's just... It's just special, you know? It's an important moment in gaming. And it came out as, at, a, at a part in my life where I was a certain kind of person. It meant a certain kind of thing to me when it came out. I had a certain emotional reaction to it. There's no way that the next game, no matter how good it is, is going to resonate with me the way this game did. And that's okay. Oh, glory kill. Yeah, the glory kill now right, 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 is pretty funny. Pain elemental, yeah. Uh, Billiam, no, I never did play Ninja Gaiden 2 or 3. Expanded melee options or destructible environments could successfully work in Doom. Sure, like if it's if it's a center mechanic, yeah. Like I wouldn't. I don't think that it's something that you have to put into Eternal. But if if it's if you're building the game around that, then I could see it. turns 20. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'll still be doing this when I'm 20. But we'll see. We'll see what YouTube is like. See how I feel. Oh, I didn't have it. Okay. What? The wall, wall running? No. No, thank you. Not interested. Would you stop? Would you stop? Man, sometimes I wonder Doom Eternal, even though it's one of the best games ever, shouldn't really even be called Doom. It's barely the same type of game at this point. No, I totally disagree. I mean, look at Doom 2 to Doom 3. Look at the wacky-ass music in Doom 2. And the ridiculous weirdness in that game. That game's goofy as fuck, and then Doom 3 is all super serious and dark, and Doom 2016 is somewhere in the middle, and then Doom Eternal goes the more arcadey route. Doom, Doom has, has a long tradition of flux fluctuating at this point. I mean, why shouldn't this be called Doom? You got the demons. You got the weapons. You got the awesome rock music. You got the art. I mean, why? Because it's more complex?
mean, I don't know. The whole, like, what should or shouldn't be a Doom game discussion, I think, is silly. I mean, we're all doing the same thing in all the games, basically, aren't we? Why is this game called Eternal? I, 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 I don't know why it's called Eternal. No, why is the Matrix Reloaded called the Matrix Reloaded and not Matrix 2? I don't know, it's just, just, a, it's just a sequel name. M any music recommendations of late? Any good rock, metal, something else? Um, you know what album has really resonated with me over the past few years? It's been uh, Scream Through the Walls, is that what it is? I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah, Scream Through the Walls by As Cities Burns. As Cities Burn, yeah. As Cities Burn, Scream Through the Walls has been a, an album that's really been connecting with me as I as I get older and, and look at the world and look at life. So go ahead and check that one out. Also, I really like Along the Shadow by Seosin. Their 2016 album. Would you be up for a new Aliens vs. Predator movie? Fuck yeah, yeah. If some, you know, if, if if they do a good job with it. I mean, the um, the Alien vs. Predator movies aren't good, but they have their moments. They have things that I like about them. Do I like space shooters? Uh, I need an example of a space shooter. How old am I? I'm old enough. But I'm a youthful spirit. Except for when I'm incredibly bitter. And petty. See, like, space and sci-fi. Have you ever checked No Man's Sky? No, I'm not interested in No Man's Sky. That does not look like the kind of game that I would enjoy playing. Uh, Deftones, yeah, I actually, um, I was never a fan, I always liked some of their songs, but I actually saw them at a music festival in 2018, I think, and I was just blown away by how professional and just tight they sounded, and and I realized how many of their songs I, I already knew and loved, and, and, uh, so I would call myself a Deftones fan now. I don't really listen to them, but anytime I hear them, I love them. Oh, you bitch. Okay, can I get it? Oh, no. You can do that, right? Oh, no. Yeah, I got it. Boomer Mayo versus these dang Zoomers with their ultra kills. <laughs> Ah, uh, well they had their fun with me. It's fine. Uh, nothing nothing they can do can ever make me not like their game. I would love a new AVP game, yes. That's what I really want. Over a movie. But like a real one, like AVP 2. I love that that weakness. Ooh, I don't have enough for the yeah, I do have enough for the super shotgun. Let's go. Ooh, I have another thing there. Let's go with uh frag cooldown. I need a lot of frag. Woo! <laughs> 
Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a fantastic idea. <laughs> How are you doing, man? Any chance you want to join the call? Come on stream with me? I'm sure the chat would enjoy that. Oh, Doom Penguin, you as well. Get out of here. Get faltered. Woo. Woo. Oh no, I'm dead. There we go. There we go. Okay, home. Uh, I'll, I'll check with you in a minute. And Doom Penguin, you too, if you want to come in, let me know. We'll hook, we'll hook that shit up. I'm kind of wishing I had micro missiles right now. Uh, yeah, Doom Penguin, hold on, let me, let me find you in Discord. Uh, I don't have you, but Doom Penguin, do you have me on Discord? Can you DM me there? There you are. Yeah, I mean, if if there's any other Doom players on right now that want to hop on and, and have a little chat, that'd be cool. All right, we got Doom Penguin in here. Hold on, let me add a friend. Right, turn the game volume down a little bit. Mr. Penguin, are you there? Mr. Penguin, are you there? He's in the call, but we have no sound from him. Not yet, anyway. Second. And the, oh, oh, wait. And then Pump will be joining us shortly after. Alright, yeah. Um, let's see. Add friends. Hello. Oh, there he is. Hello. What's, what's For some reason, uh, Discord decided that my uh, capture card is actually my microphone. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. How can I get you into here? Uh, do you have Hump on Discord? Uh, let me see. I do have him on Discord. Because it won't, it won't let me. It says... Okay, can, it, uh, can you just link me your Discord channel or something? I 
Is, or is um, it somewhere on your channel description on YouTube? Uh, well, I mean, I, this is just me calling you directly. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, invite, copy. Okay, I just sent you one. Okay. All right, it says that, that I need, it says I need to be friends with Doom Penguin. Okay. Oh, why? So, uh, let me add you. Okay, so I added you as a friend. Okay. Yeah. Uh, pending. Pending. Nope, I don't see you. I don't see you in the pending. Am I not in the pending? Okay. So, wait, did I have no. to type something in here? What was I? Yeah. I mean, I am here reading the rules a bit. I'm a bit of a caveman when it comes to these Discord thingies. Well, okay. What? It said that I just sent a friend request to you. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know if I you can see that. I just Okay, then we should be... Okay, now I can add him. There we okay. go. Brilliant. That is him, right? On the domain. I've got oh my god. I've got great news for you and your community, man. You, you do? Is it a yeah. fixed camera? Is it a fixed camera mod for, for Doom Eternal? No, no, man. It's way better than that. Oh, okay. What is it? Um, well, I'm eating a donut. I bought it at the store today. It's really good. Oh! Chad, how, how happy are you guys to hear that kind of news? I can't even imagine. <laughs> oh my god. How okay. you guys been? Good. I, mean, I haven't played this in over a year. I, I've kind of had the itch to do it recently, and so today's a good... A good excuse to to get into it, and uh, I'm having a good time so far. But everything else in life is is going right, like uh, making it work. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm oh, fine too. I got, I guess I began running again, but my legs hurt, so I can't go for it in like a couple miles. Hmm. But that, yeah, okay, whatever. And Doom Penguin, how about you? How are you doing? Uh, so so. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to figure out something to do for YouTube, basically. <laughs> mm. Kind of ran out of ideas. You should change your your name to Ultra Kill Penguin or something. Yeah, and just do all Ultra Kill videos. Do you cover Ultra Kill? No, I don't. I played it for like half an hour and got bored. Oh. Mm. Well, I don't suggest making a video saying that. <laughs> I, don't no, think they, I don't think they'll take I don't think they'll take that very well. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, there's... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is kind of like most games these days. Yeah, like, that's... yeah. I'm pretty sure the, the last game I, like, seriously enjoyed was, like, Serious Sam, Siberian Mayhem, and that's basically it. Okay. And everything I've played after that has been kind of a disappointment. Well, maybe not the Resident Evil 4 remake. That was actually kind of good. Yep, that was a pretty good remake. I, I put, like, 50 hours into that, which is more than most games, what so... What are you doing? It was fun, yeah. Yeah, that was that was a blast. Um, I, I don't know how much you guys are into horror, but my my game of the year was uh, was Amnesia: The Bunker, which is just a fantastic immersive sim survival horror game. Yeah, watch those videos. It, if I'm right. honest, it does it does look interesting. Mm -hmm. It's not my kind of game. Yeah, it's it's kind of like you and Dark Souls, right? Sure. Yeah, that that's the kind of situation I I find myself. Oh in with those games. Same yeah, with, okay. uh, uh, well, what was it called, uh, that other game you praised a lot? Shit, I forgot the name. Oh, oh, Prey. Signalis? Oh. Prey, Prey. Prey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I remember when you released that, uh, why Prey is better than, what was it, Alien Isolation? Yes. And I'm gonna, and I was like, okay, cool. If, uh, if he says that this game is, like, super cool and stuff, and he likes it so much, eh, well, let's give it a try. So I gave it a try, and I just gave up after, like, five hours. Oh, okay. So it just didn't, it just didn't click with you. No. I'm like, okay, I want to shoot stuff in the face, but it doesn't let me shoot stuff in the face. Well, yeah. it, does, it does let me shoot stuff in the face, but it's super ineffective, and it's just bad. Well, it's not so much about that, and it's more about the abilities that you get, and... Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. The shotgun is actually killer. It just has to be upgraded. Oh. oh. That, that explains it then. I'll just yeah, I can get two. very far in both. Oh, Anvil's here. In the chat on YouTube. Oh my god. Anvil, hello. Hello, everyone. I, so I know I'm missing the questions now, but uh, so yeah, we're, we're just kind of chatting here now. We're having a class reunion. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys see anybody else on and you think they want to hop in, let, let me know. It'd be cool. I thought about sending out a bunch of messages to see and like asking people, but I was like, eh, you know, I'll just let it happen naturally. Yeah, fair enough. Seems to be working out just fine, right? So. Why not? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. It gave me time to just kind of be with everyone for a while and do my own thing. Yeah. No, I think I think the last time I, uh, I played Doom Eternal <clears throat> was um, was because I promised to do a live stream uh, high, and I was supposed to start off <laughs> by playing Doom Eternal, and then I would move on to Goat Simulator, but I ended up playing Doom Eternal the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, you should it was pretty you. fun. You should center your channel around Goat Simulator. 10 out of 10 game. Probably, yeah. Is it actually fun, or is it just more like a it's, joke? Uh, it's I think the first Goat Simulator is really good. Uh, but uh, the third one, I was never really able to get into. I don't know. Just mm -hmm. didn't click. It's a way better game, probably, but... Yeah. I love uh, the first Goat Simulator. I was literally like, well, when, when did that release? Was it like 2013 tw or something? 2011, I think. Oh, yes, yeah, so I was Hold like on. 12 years old at the time. And I was literally just laughing my ass off, just sacrificing people to Satan and becoming a demon. <laughs> I didn't know 2014. You could do that. I fought 2011 or something. Uh, yeah. We got so a, you... uh, Trevor Couch wants to know: Have we played the Layers of Fears games? Uh, I played a little bit of the first one. And I thought it was pretty boring. Wait, there's multiple. Why? It's yeah. There's two. I mean, they're walk. They're they're walking. Oh, yeah. Sims. You just walk through scary places. It's not like you can die or anything. And I I think that gets once you realize that there's no actual threat. I think it starts getting not so scary. Mm. And now oh. and now they're making uh, Silent Hill 2 remake. I'm really excited about that. That, that does good. look interesting. I'm probably gonna play that. Wait, which one are oh, they gonna yeah. remake? The, the, the people who did Layers of Fear are also doing the Silent Hill 2 remake. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's going to be interesting. Interesting is one way the to play it. The trailer looked off, didn't it? Like the, yes. the new trailer yes. for Silent Hill 2? Yeah, the uh, the trailer that... For a, for a game that is not known for combat, to show a combat trailer is a little tone deaf. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. It's not Resident I'm... Evil, you know? No, I don't know what they were thinking with that I'm one. I'm pretty sure there was like melee combat and stuff in the first, uh, in like the original. Oh yeah, there. Like there Silent was, Hill. There was combat. There was a, there was a good amount of it, but like, combat is not what you talk about when you talk about Silent Hill. It's just not. And yeah, the, it's more about the atmosphere and story and stuff. Yeah. Exactly. And when you have you know you show a few minutes of of precision headshots on nurses, I'm just kind of like, oh no. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bad is, sign. Is that what this is gonna be? I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll be good, but I really doubt it. You know, I hope it is. Uh, yeah, I, sure. I don't want it to be bad. It would be wonderful if it were good, so we'll see. Yeah, who knows? Could be good. I, I sure shit hope so, because I haven't played the original yet, and it looks interesting, so... Yeah, original is a classic. And th look, it's not perfect. There's things about it that don't hold up. There's some frustrating controls. There's some frustrating camera issues. There's some some poor difficulty balancing on the high difficulties. It could be better, but it's kind of that, that question of do you make the stuff that's not great better at the sacrifice of everything else that was already good? Yeah. Yeah, and I don't I, know if they're... Yeah, yeah go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I'd rather it be an artistic and beautiful experience rather than one that is ruined in that aspect, but now it has, but now it has good combat controls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't think they're going to live up uh, to the original unless, unless they use Comic Sans on, like, the signs and stuff. <laughs> we will. <laughs> and they remove all the fog. Yeah, yeah. The main problem with Silent Hill is fog. You can't yeah, see anything. Like you, 
No, it's a big problem, <laughs> I think. Yeah, how, how, am I how am I supposed to shoot the monster if I can't see the monster? Right, exactly. You need to remove the fog. Yeah, and, and they were like... You need, and you need to add an AR-15. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, they, they said the original reason why they added fog was because of hardware limitations, but like... Um, guys, Crash Bandicoot didn't have fog, and, and Mario <laughs> didn't have fog. So what the hell? What are you talking about? It's like Super Nintendo, like, like, Nintendo 64 games are like the foggiest games ever made. Yeah. <laughs> no. They're all blurry. Well, they've maybe... They've got that 80s, 80s movie blur. Maybe they're not blurry, but you need m new glasses. You ever <laughs> thought about that? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, but, I don't know, uh, I don't know how they fumbled those original remasters of, uh, Silent Hill. Well, Konami didn't hold on to the source code. Oh, and so they were did not. <laughs> no, and so, so the studio that was making it didn't have access to the, to the finished game. And so you end up with textures where they're not supposed to be, and... Uh, but I mean, it's it's not just that. It's also the company made horrible decisions, like like recasting the voice actors and shit like that. Like, Wait, it was just, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They redid all the voice acting for Silent Hill too, to make That's it better. So stupid. They're like, we're gonna make the voice acting better. Oh god, what? dude, what a fucking disaster. At that point, just decompile the entire game or something. Like, what the fuck? It's sad that that's the only way that like current audiences can legitimately experience Silent Hill 2 and 3 is with a broken HD remaster. Uh, even then, it's already like a couple of console generations behind uh, on, like what we have now, so. Yeah. Uh, we got a question uh -huh. in chat that says, uh, I watched your videos on the SH2 remake, didn't know what your thoughts were. Oh, okay. On the previous games. Oh, I have a video um, on the original trilogy, so check that out. That's one of my biggest videos. I think it's not part of the trilogy, but I think the room has a really cool concept. It does, right? Yeah, there's. Yeah. It's a 50-50 game for me. There's things I like about it, but after I beat it once and I started a second playthrough, I was like, nah. I don't I'd think win. I saw enough. Yeah. All right, the Doom Hunter. <sighs> Uh, dude, this boss fight was, was so cool the first time I did it. This was epic, yeah. I remember when they released the cutscene before the game came out. It was just hype. Yeah. Uh, they released the cutscene and then they delayed the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's weird. I we were all being like, so disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, we were all waiting. We were, it was like a month before release and there's no official trailer. We're like, something's not right. Something's wrong. Why am I not hype? Why is no one hyped for this game? Oh, <laughs> like, oh, we're delaying <laughs> the game. There's no marketing yet. Yeah, there's no marketing. Really weird. But yeah. I was still fucking pissed off when they delayed it, obviously. But, uh, yeah. you know. Oh, probably God, better off in the end. Imagine if, if they hadn't delayed. Imagine how the game would have come out. Probably like Doom 2016 is still a solid game, but no deeper combat or something like that. Like, obviously, 2016 does have, like, the uh, mechanics in its combat. Just it, it's just that Doom Eternal has a lot more. There must have been some like whole, I mean, we all know Eternal is a kind of a buggy game. So yeah. like, imagine what it was like in the state when it was when it was being delayed. Yeah. Yeah. I. I uh, they, they they did. Oh my God. They did show. Um, like that, uh, I think it was like a 40 minute gameplay reveal where they played for Super Gorness and you could see like they have like 40 bullets in the shotgun, like in the Super yeah. Shotgun. Yeah, they hadn't actually figured out the gameplay. Like Hugo no. said, <laughs> Hugo said in that no clip interview that like the whole thing was fake. Like he was just like, like he was playing it, but it's like he wasn't, it didn't actually need to be played the way he was playing it. Yeah. I mean, not obviously, because he was playing on, like, very easy and was taking, like, two damage. Sure. But the rocket launcher also had 35 rockets in it. <laughs> yeah, it had that as well. Crazy and I don't think... And they, didn't have the, they didn't have the weak point system either. You never saw um, a Mancubus cannon break in that footage. 
Hmm. It still looked like the most, like the coolest shit ever. Yeah, he's, oh, dude, I, it was like it was like the second coming of Christ when I saw that. Yeah. Thing. I was so fucking yeah. shocked. I, I did. Every... I did. I do wish they uh, kept the the aesthetic a bit darker, like it was in the original gameplay. Mm -hmm. I really yeah. liked uh, how it looked. I just well, really I, don't. Oh, yeah. That no, that's that's an, always an interesting topic because. We know that the reason why they did make things brighter is for visibility reasons, because this game, I mean, just look at my footage, like, people are just flying around, and uh, games come out that try to be fast, and then they get criticized for not having enough visibility. Mm. And uh, I think they were trying to avoid that, to, for people who are like, I'm getting overwhelmed and I can't see. It's mm -hmm. like, uh, like Hugo said, like, when you're driving 140 miles an hour in a Ferrari, you know, you need a flashing sign to tell you that the curve is that the curve is coming up. So. I mean, you can still you can still notice uh, enemies with the character light on them, no? Mm -hmm. You, you don't yeah. you don't have to like uh, remove the character light. You just need to make the environment a bit darker. Oh, oh, shit! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Completely forgot about character lighting and stuff. Yeah. Because uh, all the demons in like Doom Eternal have that uh, thing from Dark Souls where you, where like the character itself actually glows, has yeah, like a light true. source attached to it. I, I'm looking at the zombies. I don't see them glowing. I don't really. No, know they're, exactly. they're really, looking at them first. They do actually have a light source attached to them. There's like a mod that removes it, and that actually does make enemies hard to see. I've tried it like back in the day when it first released, back in 2021-ish. Okay. And uh, yeah, it, it it was pretty bad. <laughs> Dude, I only Michael... it very quickly. Fuck. Yeah. Dude, second yeah. phase Doom Hunter is just wrecked by microwave beam. It's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, he goes down a lot faster. Yeah. Where, where is he? Let's find. Okay, watch, 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 watch this, uh, this health bar. Uh, just melted. I love it. I, I guess one of the things I didn't really like about Eternal when it came out was, um, like, uh, I guess 2016 probably had this too, but in, in Eternal, you always had, like, you finished an arena, and it showed, like, a door opening up. It showed a cutscene of a door opening up. Oh, and the, all, the, the, and that yeah, type yeah. of stuff. Oh, yeah, man, the, the, uh, the, the cutscene door stuff. opening thing kind of sucked. Uh, but it's a small it's a small complaint, but it gets old. Yeah, yeah, it gets old really fast. Like, eventually we got this Neo No Hub No Cameras mod or something. Mm hmm. And that, that just like, allows you to play through levels back to back without all the stupid camera bullshit. And it's yeah. way more fun that way. Yeah, it would. It's like the Devil May Cry uh, camera where, like, every time you enter an arena, you get the cutscene of the. Like, oh my uh, God, yeah. The arena getting locked. And then you get the cutscene of the arena getting unlocked once you're done. Yeah, even though like that can be done in in gameplay, like it doesn't have yeah. to be a cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, just give, just let it give you an audio cue or something of the thing spawning, and that's it. Well, you yeah, do it like. like... Go huh? ahead, him. Go ahead, him. Oh yeah. Um, like these are uh, professional game designers, and yet they don't even realize like, okay, we can also just make the door opening sound loud, and then we place a checkpoint marker on your screen towards where you need to go in order to progress through the level. Instead of showing you uh, where the door opens, which isn't even always clear when you're playing through the game for the first time. Like, mm. oh, the door opened, but I don't know where in the arena that is. You know? Yeah. Well, so, Good point. I don't know. This feels a bit stupid to me, I guess. Well, I guess what they... When, I, when we look at things in, like, Eternal, where, like, the cutscene stops and the door opens, it doesn't really happen much. I mean, it happens in that first arena fight in the first oh, yeah. level. And then and, and then beyond that, when does it stop to show you a door opening? Like, hardly ever. Yeah, now that, you, it, now that you mention it. It's, yeah, it just okay. got annoying to us because we play Ultra Nightmare and we saw it over and over. Yeah, okay, that's true. Yeah, st stuff gets annoying after like a thousand hours in the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, True. but you think about you think about all the other people who are like playing the game for their first time, and they're running around this arena. They have no sense of the geometry, and then 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 the fight ends, and they're like, "Wait, where was I going? Yeah, okay. what, how do I? How the fuck do I get out of here?" And like, 
I there there could be better ways to do it for sure, but but like I also don't want them putting checkpoint markers in the game. I don't want to I don't want to have like a line showing me where to go. I don't want an arrow at the top of the screen pointing like a compass. So, but it just the, oh, yeah. the only thing is it just should have been skippable. That's the only thing. It should have just been instantly skippable. Yeah, and because it, yeah. I, I do recall certain uh cutscenes like that being skippable. Like a couple of them are. For example, yeah. I think when you hit the chains uh, in uh, before Erdak, you can skip the, the chain uh, animations and stuff. Hmm. Like, why yeah. not have that for the entire game? You, you can you can skip. Oh, these these animations. fucking battery animations! Oh my god! Yeah, in the in the Doom Hunter base, uh, thank God. No, no, Jesus, the Slayer base, whatever. That, yeah, that should have uh... been the toggle, like yeah. in the menu. Like, I, I haven't played through the original like campaign since I. Since I got my uh, first Ultra Nightmare, like a uh, run, which was literally one. Yeah, I, I, I do remember. Uh... Yeah, yeah, go on. Oh yeah, Sorry. I do remember going for the game uh, back when it came out, and I began doing Ultra Nightmare runs, and always being really annoyed at having to go into uh, to Doom Slayer Fortress every time, and yeah. then uh, watching the battery animations over and over again. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. There should have been like an ultra nightmare mode or something like that. And, and the thing is, Hugo had mentioned the that as well. That that's something they wanted to do. They just never did it. There's a lot of things they never did. Like a, yeah. a new game plus, which just spawns you with everything and just makes the levels like master levels or something like that. Yeah. That would be. Well, you know, oh, if, yeah. the, if if the world hadn't shut down a week before the game came out, we would have had an alternate history of this game's post-launch development. We really should yeah. probably. Well, uh, we I can hope for the next one. I, I got a, a, a comment in chat here. It says, I thought Hugo was really against the Blood Swamp's Possessed Baron. And uh, because someone else said, they said they would bring back the Possessed Baron in the Blood Swamps, and they didn't. Yeah. And I remember talking to Hugo about this, and, and that the logic is, even though I I really like that Possessed Baron fight, I think that's a great, and that, and that space is very well put together for that Possessed Baron fight. I understand the logic of people coming into this DLC for their first time. You don't want them to come across a possessed Baron, which is like one of the hardest things in the entire game, as their first experience of a spirit, because then they're going to hate the spirit. And, and they're going to be like, fuck this thing, fuck this thing, I'm dying over and over and over because of this stupid fucking possessed Baron, I hate spirits. And that can sour their whole view on that enemy type for the entire DLC. And I think he's right. I think he's absolutely right that that did happen. Um, it, I, I don't know if the solution was to remove the Baron entirely, um, because what they did do is they put it in a Hell Knight, and, but then sometimes it spawned in an Imp and it was broken and all that. Maybe the spirit should have been introduced before that. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, uh, or... or or make it like a possessed dread knight or something like that. Well, Maybe the Baron was too much, but there is the yeah. possessed dread knight, no? Yeah, but not not in that room. I'm talking about in that room as the first thing oh. you encounter. Cuz oh. if yeah, cuz if you go on the left side, or I think it is, you you come across the possessed baron. If you go the right side, you come across the possessed hell knight. Those are the two yeah. ways and and, and coming across the spirit for your first time and not knowing what the mechanics are, not knowing how it works, not knowing that you can't falter it, not knowing that you can't freeze it. Like, uh, if you don't know anything like that, spirits are quite difficult to deal with. And it's a big difference between your first spirit being a possessed Hell Knight and your first spirit being a possessed Baron, right? That's a very, very different experience. And I, I understand that that's, they wanted to even that out of it. But I think they went too far by making it a possessed hell knight in that area too because the arena doesn't suit the encounter no. and, but 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 they they were quickly fixing it it was a pandemic they can't they can't test anything before they publish it, it you know shit happens it's it's yeah. it's small potatoes at this point and maybe they could have uh, had the first encounter be in like that massive uh, circle in the middle of the map you know excellent uh, where, idea Excellent yeah. idea. Put a put a possessed whiplash in there, and, yeah. and 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 you're dealing with something that doesn't have too much health, but it's super fast, and and you figure out what a spirit is, and then the Baron wouldn't have been so bad. Yeah, that's no. a good idea. Good idea. Um, get, where's your time machine? Uh, 
I broke it. I, I, I think we should make humps like the uh, what's it called, the director of the new Go of the new Doom game. That, mm. That's what we need to do. Right. Yeah, yeah, they should. You, just but not, you have to be drunk while working on it, though. Yeah, yeah. true. I haven't actually had any alcohol since January 9th. My friend said I couldn't stop drinking for three months, so I'm proving them wrong. Got like 20 more days to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I thought epic, you were right? practicing alcohol. Like. Oh, yeah, yeah, but like I'm taking a break. Oh. Yeah. Eh, it's okay. good to take a break sometimes. I mean, I, sometimes I do as well. Sometimes I have a bottle of whiskey in the house, and sometimes I don't. So. Yeah, exactly. I, al I always had a bottle of whiskey in the house. It didn't last very long, so I had to buy a new one every time. Yeah, that's the thing about bottles of whiskey, is that when they're gone, you have to get another one. Yeah, it's fucked. What the fuck? Yeah, doesn't make any yeah. sense. We need, like, a subscription service. Someone oh, comes. Should. Someone yeah. comes along while you're sleeping, and refills all your bottles of hard liquor. Yeah, that would be sick. Kind of like a milkman. We need uh, like, the, the what's the what's the app name? What's the app name? It needs to, need to have like a one word name, right? Um, if it's the delivery service, then maybe a the drink and driver. Yeah, but it's got to be one word, like like Uber. Um. We think here. Uh... Alright, well, we're gonna leave that pending. Yeah. Stir fry. I love stir fry setups. Whoop. <sighs> I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Uh, damn. Can you guys remember what I was gonna say? Because I can't. I don't know. I'm un sober. Ah, good no, point. That, that's not a good one. Almost got to make DoorDash for that. Um, drunk er, drunk R. That's not bad. Drunker. <laughs> I like it. Drunker. Four hundred eighty-seven days sober. Oh yeah. Yeah, this guy in the comments. Will. Hell yeah! Congratulations. Yeah, man. Yeah, congrats. Good job. I have to be honest, it was really hard. Uh, no, it, it, it wasn't... I mean, it wasn't really that hard to stop drinking because I, I used to drink like three times a week, maybe. But when I stopped, it was like, uh, well, guess I'm not drinking today. And yeah. that was really it. It wasn't that bad, so I wouldn't say I was an alcoholic yet. I'm just getting there. My, my thing with drinking is that, like, um, my, all my employment stuff is kind of like part-time stuff, and so I have these periods of the day where sometimes I have entire days where I can dedicate to gaming or YouTube video creation or whatever I'm doing on this, or game testing, which I've kind of been doing behind the scenes. Uh, and then, I, you know, it's, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and you're sitting at your computer, and there's a whiskey bottle on the table, and you're like, eh, 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 why not? Like, it's like, what else am I doing here? That's, that, that's, I mean, that's how you end up drinking too much, Sean. Yeah. Are, are you technically drinking on the job then? Yes. But you don't have a boss looking over your shoulder. Yeah, being, being a YouTuber is kind of a good job. I could do that too. Hmm. No, you it, has, it has its moments. I'm glad. I'm glad it's not full time for me. Oh my god! Like it, it's it not used. It, it got, well, I mean, when the pandemic hit, I lost almost all of my um, employment at the time, and mm. so when the channel blew up out of nowhere, YouTube did become my full time job for a couple of years. Um, and you know, the, those first two years of Doom Eternal, where I was putting out two or three videos a week. Um, but uh, once my other employment started, you know, coming back a little more, started getting some other opportunities, um, my YouTube work time has kind of been cut in half, which I'm uh, kind of happier with because spending 50 or 60 hours a week thinking about scripts and editing and, uh, it, like, it, it starts to grind down on you after a while. 
So yeah. I, I, I have a better life balance with it now. Sometimes I can spend 16 hours a day editing a video, and then the next video, the next day, I'm like, okay, no YouTube stuff. I have other other work stuff I'm doing. I, I've gotten Flicker. into a lot of game game testing actually. Uh, I oh. I don't talk a lot about it publicly publicly, but. Um, over the past couple of years, more and more like indie devs have been contacting me to bring me in on like the gameplay department to send me early builds, and I've gotten some paid testing work behind the scenes, and so I've kind of been slowly transitioning into like the industry side of things, which, which is nice. That, that's yeah. pretty cool. But so you basically did uh, YouTube as a gateway to the gaming industry, basically. Yeah, and and I'm not looking to do that full-time either I, I i like the youtube stuff i'm I've, i'm kind of like in three or four different things all the time which is cool yeah that's i'm making it i'm making a difference which is nice mm. yeah man yeah, i remember is... uh, spending a lot of time on youtube too back in the day yeah and in the pandemic it was like why not like what, yeah. other, what the fuck else are you gonna do yeah except that basically Oh, the joys of being unemployed during the pandemic. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> I I was I was close to being absolutely fucked because um, I I didn't have an alternative to my employment that had disappeared at the time, and then then the Marauder video went viral, and suddenly it was like, within three weeks I was getting a paycheck from Google. I was like, oh okay, sure I guess I'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> I had these friends that are like influencers or like they, they want to be influencers and they work really hard on it and they were coming over to my house and they're like dude how did you how did you do this how did you make YouTube work and I was like I don't fucking know <laughs> just, just happened, I, just made, dude. I just made this one video because I thought people were being dumb and apparently people wanted to hear more and, and that's that's the most discouraging thing you can tell tell them because they're working their ass off and they're trying to they're trying to get into this scene and I didn't I wasn't even looking for it and it just happened and uh, I was like okay this works yeah that's life I, uh, I I I got famous because of a shit post so like yeah same thing happened to you yeah yeah, the, yeah hump was like the shit post master back in the day <laughs> like yeah, he until literally I got cringe. yeah you, you you literally you literally got the uh, like what 30 something k subs by just being cringe that's it <laughs> yeah <laughs> spectral slayer thanks man i appreciate that <laughs> yeah well, those were good times man remember, remember when i had yeah. you uh remember when i had you take over my channel with the, oh, fake, with yeah. the fake microwave beam video oh yeah oh my <laughs> that god was so good. <laughs> that was incredible uh, there Dude, was also the full, the full auto wars oh the full auto wars oh the yeah sticky bomb was, wars those were so what good I was gonna say so, and people so you, took it seriously. People like yeah, actually got emotionally invested in this in this this joke that we were doing. You know what the worst part about it was? Hugo Martin said, "Yeah, we're actually uh, we're actually in contact with Hump right now to discuss how we're going to tackle the full auto issue." <laughs> yeah. And then they contact you. What? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. that's fine. But uh, that was pretty funny. Yeah, but like people who are getting oddly emotionally invested in it, they're like, they're like, like Mayo won't admit the the flaws of his Dude, precious yeah. mod. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? It's like, it's like chill just... out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, remember Mayo has deluded himself into thinking. <clears throat> I really don't know. How uh, I'm a, how my outro got the stick eater, like just saying fuck off at the end. I don't know where that even came from, but I just kept doing it. You just, no I mean, you like just did it people. randomly, right? One yeah. time, and then it stuck. I think it was like my first video, and I just always did it after that. Like my first video talking, I said yeah. fuck off at the end, and people thought it was funny, so I was like, alright, I'll do it again. Oh, if you throw the ice bomb in the lava, it immediately cancels itself out? I didn't know that. <laughs> Oh, I wonder why. Line. Probably yeah, just falls like... through the geometry. Yeah, most likely. Uh, oh my god, dude. Uh, how are yeah, people cool. how do people still remember that whole balls thing? You guys remember when we spammed balls. like the entire live stream of <laughs> balls, you? Balls, 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 balls. 
<laughs> Where did that come from, anyway? That, well, I was in call with, like, a couple of Doomtubers. And we just started saying balls in chat. And because we weren't, like, big names, people began noticing. And they started saying it, too, until there was nothing left but balls. And then Yuga, Yuga was like, uh, Guys, uh, YouTube chat is kind of going crazy. <laughs> I think he was saying balls. Oh. Man, I love messing with those guys. Too bad they don't stream anymore and stuff. Yeah, they don't. Is that, was that the car man in the two help? Uh, I think two haps when he was still around. Uh... Oh man, you guys remember how uh, Doom, this guy called Doom Guy Bot just suddenly overtook everyone with his shitty SVM memes? Oh yeah. SFM, sorry. He, he was he was like you but stronger. No, but I actually had a consciousness. A conscious, sorry. Like I, he I, he just he just made bad videos. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to get into Oh yeah, right. Another, on, no, on other do stop. doom doom creators, so Yeah, let's not do that. Um but yeah. That was fun. Those times were good. Mm. I had he a small resurgence when fun. uh he did make some pretty funny ones, not gonna lie. Sure. Yeah, I'll admit that much. Yeah. The, now well. I, I find the funny thing where uh, I started making like uh, Doom videos, basically just ripping off uh, Mayo here. But like in a... Like, it, that's legit what it was. Like, I, I literally saw like, oh, this guy's doing like guides on weapon mods and stuff. I would mm. want to do that too. So I just did that too in my own way. Yeah, it's fun, right? Yeah, and I got and I got all my views and stuff and got monetized. And I'm like, yes, good. And then I'm like, wait, I I run out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I got a someone. Someone's asking, uh, have you played Slayer vs. Slayer mod? Uh, I I have I have not. I actually never tried that out. I heard I heard it was pretty cool though. Sorry, you were you were saying you were saying Doom Penguin. Yeah, so uh, I got my monetization and everything, right? And then I'm like, oh, great, I'm monetized now. Now what? <laughs> because mm. I literally did all my Doom videos. Well, now you milked I, it. I, 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 never, I never thought I would get that far. And then I uh, just kind of run out of things to talk about, and I, uh, yeah. O also, I kind of relaxed after I just like, okay, I have a goal of getting monetized. I got monetized, and then I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, goal achieved. Now all motivation gone. Yeah. Now how do I make money? <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, I mean, that was... Go ahead. I made, I, made, I made other stuff after that. That got some decent views as well, so I'm yeah. pretty happy with that. Now I just have to get back to it. Yeah, you just gotta find what you're passionate about and then just cross your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Space. I've been waiting for another, like, Doom Eternal-like game. To uh, you know, get super into. I wonder if they're gonna make another quake. I heard a lot of people say that, but I don't know. I, I mean, doubt I wanna, it, man. I a lot of people just, want quake. Yeah, I want. I want another quake. But when we, I, we were, I was going over this with the chat like an hour ago. Like, this is a, a company that has what? What do you think the budget for their for their game is? Right, probably over a hundred million. Right at yeah, this point, so. five five year development owned by Microsoft, and you know that these parent companies want profits. They want sales, and I don't see the Quake IP as something that can sell Doom Eternal numbers or more, which is what they want. Quake, hmm. really? Quake, a five year, hundred or two hundred million dollar development budget for a Quake game? I don't. No matter how good it is. How does how does the Quake game uh, sell enough to justify a triple A budget? Yeah, we probably won't. But hmm. well, wouldn't they wouldn't they just be introducing uh, Quake to a new audience, basically people that haven't even heard of the original Quakes? Sure, sure, and I, I'm not saying that wouldn't that couldn't work, but I'm saying id Software isn't necessarily the ones making all these decisions. Yeah. It's the, they're owned by Zenimax, Microsoft, and these companies have investors, and yeah, well, 
I don't know how much they can uh, say, hey, we want to make this, when they're like, oh, uh, yeah, well, we're giving you this budget, and we need you to make this kind of profit. Uh, how much say do they ha even have in what they make at this point? Yeah, yeah, but how well the game sells is up to the marketing department, no? As long as you make a good enough marketing campaign, you can sell anything. Really? To the same degree? I and mean, if you market two different IPs at the same degree, it doesn't mean that they're both going to sell equally as well. They should well, just no. let Quake Eternal then. Well, one of, one of them will have a, like an inherent advantage, but that advantage can be negated by just better marketing. Hmm. And, and, if you, and by being great. Yeah. yeah. So if you, if you have like a trailer with like spectacular visuals and like a gameplay that looks like really good, and then you do a really well made uh, marketing cam campaign, you can easily sell, you can easily outsell Doom Eternal with a Quake like a reboot. Well, although, yeah. although the, the whole uh, doing a good marketing campaign part is kind of difficult. And making a good Quake game. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I, 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 I me personally, I, I don't really care about Quake. I'd rather see another Doom game that continues the story or something. What you just said um, uh, is actually a great idea. Like a Doom cross Quake. Mm -hmm. Like actually Quake officially Eternal. combine, yeah, Quake Eternal. Like combine the universes together. I'm so down for that. Yeah. Oh, True. like uh, the. Like uh, the Quake Ranger just going to revive the Doomslayer or something like that. Yeah, Dude, yeah. That'd be sick. Why not? And, and and then and then have certain levels where you play with the Ranger and then or with the Doomslayer and stuff like that. Maybe they a co-op mode that. as well. Co-op, yeah. That'd yeah, be see, cool. see, that'd be a cool way to introduce Quake to a new audience. Yeah, yeah. Hugo, are you listening? Are you somewhere there in chat? He is, but he can't speak anymore. Oh. Did, did Microsoft uh, cut off his tongue or something? Uh, no, that was Microsoft. Microsoft? Oh. Microsoft? Yeah. That's my... It's Michael, but like soft. You also have Michael Hart. <laughs> Remember when they nerfed um, precision bolt swapping? My god, what a stupid decision that was. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I still, I, still can't, I still can't get over all the invisible walls. They annoy me so much. It's, oh my they're god, so and they kept stupid. adding them. Yeah. Yeah. They're specifically anti-speedrunner tech, and I just... I don't know how anyone could support that. Hmm. Yeah, it's not like I they were hurting it. anyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they the, are. Like, the people that didn't have enough skill would never experience them to begin with. Like, yeah, exactly. No, no matter what happens, they just wouldn't experience them. Well, Wolf Tamer, uh, they uh, initially nerfed PB quick swapping when it got published. I think that was, I think it was because of Hey Kyle, I think. Uh, but the, the backlash to it was swift, and, uh, and they, they reverted the change. Thank God. Thank God, yeah. Yeah. No, oh, I remember I had a period where I got super, like, super into just bashing Doom Eternal over bugs. Hmm. I, like, I don't know. It, it was around the time I, I was getting, like, really good at the game, and they started to annoy me, like, to an extreme degree. Yeah, I yeah. guess that's why a lot of people don't understand why we got so fed up with certain things in the game. Like, they were like, oh, why, why are you guys so angry about this? They can just well, fix well, this, this was... later. This was around, uh, I, I remember that because when things started to boil up, that's when I did my video on the bugs and, I, and I, the three main bugs, which was the faltering system doesn't work, chainsaw uh, does not work, and uh, and what was blood the other punch. one? And blood punch. And blood punch doesn't work. And like, the, like, there's other bugs, sure, but these three things are like pillars of the gameplay that are fucking failing. And, uh, and... Uh, that's when, uh, within a month, it put together a team. I don't know how many of you guys know this, um, but I was one of the people that was contacted right after I put out that video and put on a team to uh, try to fix Chainsaw and Blood Punch. And we did gameplay tests for the id tech sector for weeks. And that's, that's how it was mostly fixed. And then I spent nine months 
trying to fix the faltering system, which was finally fixed in the horde mode update. So, mm -hmm. uh, but but yeah, the things got to a point where I think I said it in in my video where I said like I love this game, love this community, but if these bugs are not fixed, this is not going to be such a great place to be anymore because people, everyone's just going to be angry. And yeah, I I did put yeah. up a very angry video. Yeah, I, I, everyone I did, was getting pissed. I did delete it at some point. Because I'm not that proud of that video, but uh, what I said at the end of that video still stands. Like when it, when uh, it release a new game, I will not buy it immediately. I will just wait for gameplay. And if I see people experiencing like weird like bugs with the core gameplay, I'm just not gonna buy it until they fix it. Sure. I mean that's, that's valid. Fair. I think. Yeah. But you, but you know what? The, the funny thing about bugs in Eternal is. Uh, these bugs became apparent to us after we were already playing the game for a while. And, like, a, a lot of people were playing Doom Eternal and playing it through all the way through their first time and saying, wow, that was, like, a pretty bug-free experience. Because the, yeah, the, the, idea, stuff yeah. That, yeah, the stuff that was wrong about it was systemic stuff that you don't notice until you really actually know the game. It, the game's moving so fast that you're like, wait a minute, my, my blood punch didn't work. Or, or, or maybe it did. I, I, I don't know. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, it's like you didn't have enough time to even think about what wasn't working properly because the game was so chaotic. Yeah. When the game launched, didn't the chainsaw work properly except like, it, it did. It like clipped you into uh, buildings and stuff? Yeah, but that was like a 1 in 200 chance of it happening. and they yeah. that But they didn't want that to ever happen. And so the change they made actually caused the no-target glitch. And then they basically just had to realize, okay, look, it's better for someone to occasionally fall through the ge geometry than for everyone to have a chainsaw that doesn't work half the yeah. time. <laughs> Hell, was I mean, that's... the same that, case for the Blood Punch, or was that always just fucked? Uh, blood Punch was fucked since the beginning. Oh, yeah. Um, where, where it wouldn't trigger, right? And yeah. they, they were able to get it to a point to where it does work, but now it every once in a while you guys know that it will accidentally trigger on a glory kill. Yeah. Which is which is oh, remember and, that. Oh, it's God. it's yeah. still like that. And, and we brought that up when we were doing the testing to try to fix everything. We were like, it feels good, it feels good, but uh, it's like occasionally it will trigger on a on a on a glory kill and they just they just couldn't get it any better than that. And so while it does suck it is so much better than what the alternative used to be. Mm. I'd rather spend a blood punch accidentally, randomly, on a glory kill every once in a while, and then just get my blood punch back, rather than do a falter setup on a Mancubus, go into blood punch, and get nothing. Dude, I remember, um... I, I yeah, remember sorry. when you, uh, when you blood punched for, like, one second. No, you, you like, you, you, you punched, and nothing happened, and then a second later, suddenly the blood punch would, would arrive. It's like, <laughs> huh? Oh God, God, it was bad. It was so bad. But we didn't <laughs> notice. We didn't really notice in those first weeks because we were all... It was a brand new game. There was so much going on. And then after a couple months, we were like, wait a minute, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, because like it is a core issue, obviously. And so core, it's a chainsaw yeah. thing. And the, and the faltering system not working. That Throwing a grenade at a, at a Mancubus and then... And like faltering. And, it, and he just keeps walking. And you're like, what the fuck? This is supposed to be a guaranteed falter. What's going on? Yeah, that or, is weird. Yeah. Makes you wonder Remo how that type of stuff even goes wrong in the first place. You know? uh, it's uh, I, I've had these conversations a little bit a couple of years ago when we were trying to fix it. I can't go into too much stuff, but it kind of comes down to people coming in and out of the company that work on this stuff. Oh, that yeah. like it's 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 like it's something that is worked on by like one guy and then he's not there anymore, and then someone else is coming in and fixing issues with the faltering system and. It, it, it's it's kind of one of those issues where it was just kind of an unfortunate situation that way. Yeah. But uh, that was that was the most infuriating thing, the faltering system, where where a remote detonation uh, explosion is supposed to be a guaranteed soft falter, but that airborne hell knights just uh, the airborne uh, dread knights just coming at me no matter what. God, it was that would piss me off so much. Yeah, for yeah sure. the, the the homing uh, Hell Knight that was a mm. thing for a while. Well, oh yeah, actually, really actually funny, Dread Knights though. were worse. <laughs> oh yeah, Dread Knights were way worse. There were literally like 
ICBMs those things. <laughs> like if, if you if you were running at like 300 FPS, that thing is just coming for you from the other side of the map. And and there's I do. nothing you can do about it. I think it was really funny how the higher uh, frame rate you had, like the more enemies just began bugging out and the harder the game got. Yeah. It, I'm actually surprised uh, that anything is tied to frame rate in this engine. It's stupid. Yeah. Why would you ever tie anything to frame rate? Why? Why do games do that? Because you usually yeah. would expect that from like Japanese developers, right? Those guys are extremely lazy and they just do console ports. Uh, Dark Souls. Cool. Yes, Dark Souls, exactly. Like, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for, like, From Software games, right? I would literally just eat up anything that, con that uh, I was going to say country, but that's not a country. It's a game development studio. <laughs> that game development <laughs> studio spits out. But uh, I will... N I literally cannot uh, defend their, like, programming. Like, it's stupid. They reuse assets for, like, ten years in a row in their games. They do. Yeah, you can you can play Elden Ring and you can see like textures from Dark Souls two and like Dark Souls one. Oh and yeah, no. Of, and a whole bunch of textures and like uh, assets from Bloodborne as well. And Dark Souls three. They did reuse yeah. the door opening animation too, didn't they? Yeah, and they they reused the walking animations pretty much all of them. Jesus, they yeah. uh. Well, what else did they reuse like directly? Oh yeah, you know those knights. That uh, spin yeah. around, like literally, eighty percent of their move set is literally just the uh, what's it called, the Lothric Knights from Dark Souls Three. Yeah, like, that... literally. Yeah, I don't know. I I think I would have rather had another linear Souls game instead of Elden Ring, but you yeah, know, true. That's why I like Lies of P way better than like Elden Ring. Oh yeah, but Lies of P is great. Yeah. David, I use a twelve hundred DPI. Oh, I'm not a fellow no, 1200 just, DPI enjoyer. enjoyer. I, I just, uh, yeah, I use low DPI. I like I like moving my mouse a lot. Sorry, I was just answering a question in chat. Sorry, I'm, I'm really stupid. What's DPI again? Uh, dots per inch. The how, how many times does the little laser thingy on your mouse blink? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, okay, the, I got it's it. Just your, it's just your mouse sensitivity. Yeah, my mouse sens... Uh, I don't know. I, I just, I've got no clue. Most people yeah. don't. Yeah, oh, it, I have 16,000 DPI, it says. Oh, All right. Well, well, that's your maximum. Oh, that's my that's maximum. Not, that's probably not the thing you're using. Oh, wait. No, I can figure it out. I think mine is around 1,800. Yeah, that's, that's pretty normally. Yeah, yeah, I have 1,800. Yeah, I, I usually put play between 800 and 1200 oh, yeah. depending on the surface I have yeah that's fair oh man oh yeah we should make Mayo play uh, Lies of P he's gonna hate no! it <laughs> make him play Lies of P no yeah, it, it will literally be torture it's like oh, Dark Souls boy. but like harder no but I think Mayo is gonna gonna reverse on lines of P because the mechanics actually work and they complement each other. Mm, possibly, you, yeah. To, if, I mean, if you guys think that um, mechanics has anything to do with my not enjoyment of Dark Souls, then you, you have no idea. Yeah, but you, 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 uh, you don't like the, um, the aesthetic, right? And uh... I'm not really into the worlds or how they control. Or the camera, oh, or the stories, or the big RPG elements and all the stats, and picking between 12 different classes of characters, and just, it, it's just not me, man, it's just not, it's just not my thing. I get it, I get the appeal. Uh, maybe you should just, you know, get, get good. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. That, you know, that's one thing that a lot of fans of those games don't understand, is that Someone can play it right and still not enjoy it, but that, that's kind of how it was with Sekiro, where I played it long enough to where I could, you know, I, I could fight these tough guys and I could do all the parries and, and the counter and like, and I'd take, take them down playing the way the game wants me to play, and even when I did that, 
I didn't feel good about it. And that's when you know that this just isn't for you. Even when you're playing it the fun way, if it's not fun, then you gotta let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Crew. Like, Crew. like there's people. There's people who don't like survival horror games because they don't. If they don't want to, uh, you know, slowly explore and manage yeah, their resources me. and have six inventory slots and not be able to kill that zombie in front of them because they only have three bullets, so they got to try to run around him. Some people don't find that fun, and that's that's okay. That's totally okay. Dude, I need, yeah, that, I need that, to know that, what that's the... me. I, I'm, I'm yeah. those people. That's cool. I, I, I literally cannot play uh, like the Resident Evil 2 remake because it's so boring. <laughs> okay. Like it, that's fine. Like, like, for, like from my pers well, from my perspective. So I literally look at a zombie and I'm like, okay, what's fun in a zombie game? Popping the zombie's head like a watermelon. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can do that, and I can do that with the next zombie, and the zombie after that. But the zombie after that, it's gonna be an issue. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, the the fun in those games is is not just the combat. It's also the dis it's also the fight or flight decision making, right? And it's like, and if you're not into it, then you're not into it. Not everyone's into the same thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm I have Resident yeah. Evil 4. That that one's fun as hell. Yeah. But, but like the two and three remakes, no. No, no. no. I, I, I seriously feel like I wasted my money on that game. You you know you <laughs> three remake is the best one they did. Mm, fuck off. <laughs> if you can get into the old ones, um, you would enjoy RE3 probably the original RE3 because the RE original RE3 has an abundance of resources. That's that's one thing that I don't like about it is that there's too much ammo. But uh, mm. if you're just if you just want to kill everything, a Resident Evil 3 re original is actually uh, yeah, a much but better it has experience tank for you. Control. It does. It does. So that's I, I cannot that. get over that. Like I'm sorry, you know, that that's not happening. Okay. I can't ask everyone to play tank controls. Yeah, it's Fair kinda enough. like you and Dark Souls, right? It's just not happening. <laughs> it's just not happening, yeah. It's okay. Uh, yeah, just like I, me I, and uh Well what, what game do you what? hate home? Tell us. Uh, let me think about that for a second. Uh Is it Fortnite? I'm really bad at fighting games, but I don't dislike them. I just, uh, like, I don't want to invest the time into learning all of the combos and stuff, and I'm too mentally retarded to do that. So, like, not happening, probably. Uh, what else? I, I, I don't like horror games that emphasize all of their horror on jump scares. Like, I'd, oh, rather, God. I, I'd rather have a horror game with no jump scares at all, but really interesting and terrifying lore, and, uh, and like good the world building. Is scary. The suspense is really good, yeah. But just you yeah. know, uh, just make the world terrifying, not the, not the jump scares and yeah. stuff. Like I don't care about that. Jump scares have their place, but when you start to abuse them, they get really corny. Yeah. You know, you know, like in a sometimes in horror movies, uh, when something really scary happens and then the character wakes up, oh god, it was just a dream. You know, like like it's like it's at night. And they, they wake up, and then they walk, and they see their dad, and the dad's like, Bleh, bleeding from the eyes, and then they wake up, oh, that was just a dream. Okay. But then, something else happens, and then they wake up again. <laughs> and, or, yeah. and you just feel like the director's fucking with you, or, or there's like four dream sequences in a single movie, and they're, that's where all the scary stuff is. That's when you feel like they're just fucking with you. You know what kind of horror game I want? Hmm. Uh, it, uh, Amnesia the Bunker kind of did this, but not really. Uh, do you know? Do you guys know what Delirium is? I don't. It's uh, it's like, it's a drug, like it's a type of drug that uh, that has like the it has the specific effect is that it, it's a it's a drug that makes you that gives you bad trips and stuff. All right. Um, All right. So you see, uh, you, you have like uh, hallucinations which you you actually think are real. Like you could uh, there's this uh, flower called the Tura, and if you take it. Um, I've heard stories about people just being in their house and people walking around in their house or they go to the bathroom and there's someone there and they, they're like, okay, this makes sense. These people are supposed to be here. Uh, but le like, you, you also have bad trips where like, uh, you start experiencing bad stuff and it's all, it also feels like everything is real. And, uh, and, and things start popping up on the walls and stuff and just the visuals. Uh, the, the recreated visuals of Delirium are extremely cool, and I would love a game based on those things. Hmm. 
Like a bad drug trip. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, you know what would be really cool? Horror game I would like. That, that, that does sound like a cool idea. What I would like is uh, a game that's set up in such a way that like your character is like pretty weak, right? Yeah. And the enemies are pretty like intimidating. And you want to run. But the game only gives you the only gives you the option to fight with whatever limited abilities you have. So basically you need to figure out a way to make it work. I think that would be pretty scary. Hold on, I gotta check a little bit in, in chat here. Uh, let's see. I got a $5 Canadian donation from Horizon Pair. Hello. Uh, this is, hey, it's been a while? Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, first time replaying Doom Eternal in quite some time. Hope you didn't run out of stress to spice things up. Well, I'm doing some stir fry here and there. So thank you so much for the donation. It's nice for you to, for you to come around. Big Beaver wants to know how many hours I have in Sifu. I don't know. That that would require opening up the Epic Game Store, and I don't want to do that. But it's several hundred, I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah. I have it on. I I just haven't played it on Steam. I just played it on Epic. So. I thought you only up. Uh, you only opened the uh, Epic Game Store to play Fortnite, man. Oh, right. Of course. I, I do that every day. Yeah. That's how I wake up. I wake up, I make eggs and bacon, and then I hop on Fortnite. I start hacking down those trees. Mm. It's incredible. It is. Yeah. No, but your idea uh, yeah. for that horror game, it sounds pretty sick, honestly. Yeah. Just being forced to fight just by being weak. Yeah, and having like a, like health regen mechanics that depend on how you fight or what you do. And like what you do with the enemies, basically just, I don't know, just bleeding them or something. Ultra kill. Healing. Yeah, something like that. But, <laughs> but instead of being a badass, you're kind of like weak and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it will work, I think. And like the parts of the game where you can actually sneak past or get, are supposed to be like the parts where you just get the breathe but they're gonna be rare and stuff kind of like oh, the yeah. opposite of mayo's favorite type of horror game uh, uh. i don't know how that can be executed though in a fun way but mm. who knows maybe it'll, it'll come someday it's gonna have to be some very complicated combat system yeah. Well, complicated to execute by the developer, I mean. It's probably doable. By the way, Mayo. Yeah. I don't know if you've played it or heard of it, but it's a horror game, so I'm going to ask. What, what do you think about Lethal Company? I've I've only heard that name mentioned over the past few days. I haven't actually seen it. What the, What is it? Uh, it's a, it's a go-off game where you uh, land on a moon with, like, a couple of crewmates. And there is like a facility somewhere on the moon which you have to find. And when you go inside, you have to collect tr uh, junk and bring it back to your ship. Uh, but inside of the facilities are like uh, creatures and stuff that, uh, that that will try and kill you. But, but there's also passive creatures that, that generally don't harm you and are just scared of you. But there's also like aggressive ones that sneak up behind you. And when you turn around, they suddenly stop and run away from you. Or there's one that's like the angels from Doctor Who. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the, the the weeping angels. I I, I, I don't. Uh, well, uh, the weeping angels is like you look at them and they move, but if you blink, they move closer to you. Basically like okay. that. Um, so if you look Sounds away, creepy. you'll get killed. Yeah, and uh, all types of uh, all kinds of enemies like that. There's also like this uh, this little girl that shows up. This is actually really cool. I think you're gonna like this. There's a there's an enemy called the ghost girl, and she will show up, like you are hear her giggling. So and you turn around and you see her behind you or somewhere else standing, star uh, staring at you. And then if you if you don't know what it is yet, you'll be like, guys, are you seeing that little girl standing there? And then your friends are like, no, I don't see her. What are you talking about? And that's because only you can see her. You're the only pl you're the only player oh. that can see her. And the more you look at her, the more aggressive she gets. And eventually she starts like, uh, what's that called? Uh, that. It's like how how little girls tend to run, like this hopping uh, run thing. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Skipping. She starts skipping towards you. Yeah. And then she kills you, and then she moves on to another player until everyone's dead. And it's really cool and really scary, too. I fucking this, love it. This is Lethal Company? Yeah. All right. Sounds cool. How much is it? 
A ten dollars. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I can check it out after I do uh, Alone in the Dark and Helldivers. Yeah, if you need people to play with, just uh, let me know. I uh, have right. a lot of experience in the game. Well, you you moderately sold me on it. It's really cool. I, I I think you'll like it somewhat. Like you're obviously gonna have problems with some of the mechanics, but I think it's really good. It's a really solid game. Oh, the, oh what? Yeah. Um, sounds like he's, he's explaining something to his parents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, well, speaking of Sifu, Oh, yeah. There's also proximity chat. Uh, yeah, go oh, ahead. Yeah. yeah, speaking of Sifu, I tried that. Oh, Couldn't yeah. get past the second boss on normal. Like, yep. legit. I, I just oh, can't yeah. do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> See, yeah, he's... Uh... It, it was a she, if I remember correctly. Oh, isn't that happening? No, the final... Good the, enough? the boss of level two is Sean. He's, he's got a staff. Oh no, not that guy. So it was level three. Sorry, it was. Oh, the Kuroki Japanese with lady. Oh, Kuroki is. A... Oh, she's awful. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I just tried that for like a solid three hours, so that I'm like, nah, I'm out. Uh, you know, in the update they did <laughs> in February last year, uh, in practice mode, they actually added a new option where once you've faced a boss, that boss appears in training mode. Hmm. So you can spawn her and actually take some time to learn her patterns before right. going okay, go up that's... against the game. And that it seriously makes a difference. That's a useful thing to know. And if you ever want to get back into it, my Ultimate Beginner's Guide has a section near the end that gives general strategy for all five bosses. Right. So that you can that's... see, like, basically, like, with Kuroki, it just seems like she's doing random shit all the time, right? That she's just, like, spinning around, and you're like... When can I fucking hit this bitch? And w the real trick to her that I found is that if you stay at mid-range from her, like a little outside of sweep range, she will only do one or two attacks. Right. And the, like almost all of her attacks are shut down by standing at mid-range, and then you can just react to the attack you see and then punish. So there's like little tricks like that that you can figure out, but you can't figure them out under the pressure of permadeath and, you know, and having to reset the whole game and all that stuff. Yeah, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I broke my PS5 controller in that boss fight. Okay, I respect, I respect that. <laughs> well, well I, I didn't completely break it, I just broke the, what's it called, the right stick. Now it like drifts to the left for some reason, <laughs> and I hate it. Oh. I, I was trying to play Call of Duty the other day, and then I'm like, oh, did this thing drifts to the left. Yeah, but like, you were, you were, you kind of deserved that because you were trying, you were trying to play Call of Duty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of yeah. come. Yeah. Well, yeah. I recently bought good, a new one. Good, good thing I have a spare. I, I was forced to buy a bundle with uh, two controllers back when uh, the PS5s were scarce. Oh, yeah. It, in order to just buy it at, at like a normal price. So that second controller actually comes in handy. A uh, question from chat. Has anyone played the Dante... Dante's Inferno. I did not. I, I dismissed it back in the day because it was called a God of War clone. And I was like, well, I'm not going to play it then if it's just a God of War clone. But these days, I was, I'm was, i like, what the hell was I thinking? I would love to play a God of War clone these days. Give me something like God of War, yeah, sure. Yeah, play it. I, I played it on, uh, like, at uni. My One of my classmates had, like, a 360. So I yeah. played it on that. So I played it on that. It's, it's actually pretty good. Cool. Yeah, I, I I feel stupid for having that attitude about it back then. I played God of War 3 as well on my PS4, and I think I enjoyed Dante's Inferno more, to be honest. Cool. Because it, it's mostly you doing the same type of thing, but I just like the aesthetic more, I don't know. Yeah. Is this it? Hey, have you heard about the fact that like uh, one of those old God of War directors, I think it was, from the old games, he was like, yeah, I don't, I don't like the direction they're taking Kratos in. Yeah, David Jaffe doesn't like the, the direction they've gone in. Yeah. Makes sense. But I, I, I don't entirely agree with his view on it either. I think I think Kratos can be a pretty deep character. I think the game he made, God of War 1, showed Kratos as a much deeper character than the sequels did. I mean, I mean Kratos is 
a pretty deep character. I think there, there was like a guy that made like a two hour video or something just explaining yeah. how Kratos was deep. And I, I mean the final boss well. fight has the final boss fight has you literally hugging your wife and child. Like that's a mechanic, is hug your family. <laughs> the guy oh, is fun. You haven't seen that? Help? No, I, I haven't played the games yet. I, I played a little bit of God of War on my PS feed up, but besides that... Well, the the right. boss fight of God of War 1 is your, you finally go up against Ares, and you have this big fight with him, and then Ares sucks you into this dream world where um, suddenly your dead wife and dead daughter are, a lot, are there. And they're like, Kratos, please protect us. And out of the walls come like six Kratos doppelgangers that come out and try to murder them. Because, which reflects the guilt that Kratos feels over having accidentally killed his his family. And so you have to stop shadow versions of yourself from killing your family again right in front of your eyes. And as they take damage, you can walk up to your family and hold circle to hug them, which transfers your health to them. That's fucking insane. That's it's so, cool. so good! It's so goddamn good! And then people say Kratos is not a deep character, he's just an angry man because of the sequels. And it's just not true. Well, no, he's a very deep angry man. Yeah, he's a very deep angry man. It's kind of like Doomslayer and his rabbit. Yeah. I mean, Although I think, like, Daisy's uh, entire arc is way more emotional than God of War yeah. could ever hope, to be honest. Oh, you think so? Alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still, I, I've missed you. See, the, the Doom canon is one thing, but for me, the fanon, which is literally the canon by the fan base, which is Doomslayer kills all the demons because of the rabbit, is the true Doom Eternal story. That That's what's in my head. Didn't they include, like, a picture of his family or some shit? There's yeah, a hidden no. picture in under his under the desk in, in the... Uh, in the kingdom in this castle. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Daisy always number one. Daisy was the true family. By the way, can I ask what in the actual baloney woney the point was of having a hub world in Tag 1? Because it's literally empty. There's nothing there. In Tag oh, yeah. 1 there's a hub world? Well, uh, I mean, like, you go there between between the levels. You go oh, through. right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think that was just for cutscene reasons. Oh yeah. Yeah, probably. story stuff. It, it it doesn't serve a gameplay function for sure. No. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the hub world and like the base campaign is pretty worthless as well. Yeah, it's, well, it's like it's really fun though. It's so fun for the first time to just yeah, look the, through everything. The first time was great, but after that, it's kind yeah. of meh. That that's <laughs> why it needed uh, like a, a new game plus option that skips that stuff. It, it's kind of it's kind of like the Elden Ring open world, right? You do it once, you do it twice, and on the third time, you're like, "Well, this thing sucks." Hmm. I, I just I just want to play through like the the actual areas. I, I got a I got a question here. Eagle says, "Mayo, do you have any cool Doom statues at home? Does anybody have those? Do you guys? Uh, I have yes. a, I have a few. I have the one from Bethesda where it's like it's like the ceramic statue of him with the meat hook is standing on the rubble." And then I have the Figma uh, statue as well. I have that too, yeah. It, uh, how do you have it posed? I have mine holding the BFG. Um, uh, mine is holding the BFG too, and it's just a standard pose, I think. I yeah. I had him do a kawaii pose once, but, you know, didn't really feel that one. So, um, hmm. yeah, I just have him do a basic pose. And I also have the helmet uh, for ducks. And... Uh, and two other Doomslayer figurines, a green one and a gold one. Oh, nice. Yeah. I have, you have any, nothing. You have, you have any photos of them? Yeah, sure. Give me, give me a second. Well, I mean, I'm not going to put them up here, but like... Oh, uh, no, no, no. Maybe, yeah, uh, show maybe someone... Maybe you can put them on Twitter or something if you have it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just send or, them to or, you. Or, or, on your, or on your YouTube channel or something. Everybody yeah. follow Hump and Doom, Doom Penguin on uh, on YouTube, please. I, I don't e I don't even have Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm very anti-social media. <laughs> okay. I don't have Twitter. I have X. Oh yeah, X for extreme. Also, why does Mayo have ray tracing on? 
Why? Why not? I don't know. He's busy gay tracing. He sold the frames. Did you Did uh, you buy a new graphics card or something? Yeah, I upgraded my PC last uh, last summer. Oh nice. I've got What's a here? I've got a uh, 4070 Ti from Asus, and I got an AMD uh, 7 7900 processor. Nice. I did so, the same. I am rocking Doom Eternal as high as I want it. Yeah. Uh, I got an AMD GPU again last okay. summer. 7900 XTX. It's brilliant. Nice. It's, it's, it's especially for like uh, the Resident Evil uh, 4 remake. Because you can crank up the textures and it eats up like over 16 gigs of RAM, but that's not an issue because I have 24. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. The only thing it's not good at is, is ray tracing. It sucks. The, the graphics card itself? Yeah, it just sucks for ray tracing. Oh. Uh. Well, com compared to the NVIDIA ones, it's still as good as a 3090. But that's like a last-gen GPU. Okay. And like the 4080 is like way better at like ray tracing. Even though this one is faster than the 4080 on non-ray ray tracing games. So if you don't have ray tracing on, it's actually faster than the 4080. So, uh, Damn. It made blurry pictures. God damn it, hold on. So why you, you can render the videos faster now, man. With your, oh yeah, my rendering uh, time is wonderful. Hmm. Did you get the X3D? version or did you get the normal oh uh, i i don't know i i tend to just i have a tech friend that does my pc stuff for me i tend to just kind of go on his recommendations and i don't look much further into it i'm not that big of a tech guy when it comes to this stuff hmm. yeah those x3d cpus are great i i upgraded mine because i wanted to play a uh, serious sam 4 at 120 fps and that's impossible unless you have a nasa cpu hmm because optimization, it's difficult, I guess. And people don't do it. This is a great arena. Yeah. Serious Sam. Yeah. See, uh, see Hump, uh, Serious Sam is a superior game because in Serious Sam you can cut down trees and you can't do that in Doom Eternal. Oh, right. No tree cutting. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you, a chainsaw, yeah. but no tree cutting, honestly. Yeah, you, you, you have you have a chainsaw in Serious Sam, right? And you <laughs> can cut down trees with it, but you can't do it in Doom Eternal. Like, what yeah, is it's stupid. And, like, the, the Serious Sam game with the chainsaw is, like, 20 years old now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple questions. Do you guys have the Phobos Doom helmet? And also, mm -hmm. uh, do you think death animations from 2016 will return in the next Doom game? Death animations uh, would be cool to, to, really to cool. come back. Yeah. yeah. Also, I'm, like, uh, glory kills against walls would be nice. I, I, yeah, environmental man. glory kills would be cool. Yeah, I, I would love no. that for those to return. Me, personally, I don't own the Phobos helmet because it was a limited run thing, so... I, did, I don't yeah. like limited run games. Hmm. Stupid company. Will they return, though, those environmental kills and, like, the... Death animations? I don't think so, personally. Don't count on it, no. It's, uh... Nah, who knows? It, it's extra work. And why would you spend resources on that instead of, you know, important stuff? Well, they did it in 2016, and it was extra work for them when they did it there. Well, yeah, but then they decided uh, it wasn't important in Doom uh, Eternal. Well, the f here's the thing on, on that topic. Yes, we lost environmental glory kills, but we also have at least double the enemy variety so we have a whole lot more glory kills total yeah okay. so so they so all the work went into massively increasing the total number of glory kills but we lost environmental glory kills because of it yeah so we, we have we have less glory kills per enemy but more enemies to glory kill so right and then some, some enemies still have a good number i mean uh, marauders do. Whiplashes have a bunch of different glory kills, right? Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. I'm pretty sure they hand animate everything. I'm not 100% on that. 
but uh, if they hand animate everything, it's actually pretty insane what they've managed to achieve. I like to imagine that every single glory kill animation was acted out by Hugo in motion capture. Probably. <laughs> who, who was the poor guy getting ripped apart? Me. Huh? <laughs> so so, so did, did Hugo just rip? <laughs> did Hugo just rip you in, in <laughs> they half? Brought, yeah. They brought Hump yeah. in when he was 13 years old and flew him in. <laughs> we need you for the glory kill animations, buddy. Yeah, Please, just, no more experiments. <laughs> yeah. Because Hump. It was kind of like uh, it's kind of like the opening of uh, Amnesia: The Bunker. That's what that that's what it was like for me the entire time. Trapped oh, to a chair. Oh, so yeah, it's software, guys. It's really dark. No, I didn't. Oh. I just heard it had the funny, funny delirium drug in it. And I was like, oh my god, I want to take delirium too. And even though I don't, so. But yeah, not pretty, pretty cool. Okay. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream at the end of our complex. It's been like three hours, and I'm getting kind of hungry. So I played we'll, all the way. To, uh, to the end of our complex stoned it was it was an experience man like live streaming that I don't know eventually I began talking about like some random shit um, I was saying like dude imagine if like the man was got married to like to, like a whiplash or something and then this guy in chat was like oh you're acting stoned you're just acting man even though I was fucked dude pe people are Fucking dumb. Yeah. <coughs> Damn. Like I was constantly forgetting what I was talking about. This guy's just like, nah, you're acting. Like, come on. <coughs> oh well. People, mm -hmm. uh, people refuse to accept, like, that anything can be authentic your emotional reactions like if you get a super excited about something all oh, you're faking it well that's yeah. because too many people fake it on the internet and people have just been conditioned to just expect it yeah, yeah that's true actually have you ever done weed mayo have i ever done the weed the marijuanas yeah, yeah. i've done i've done several marijuanas several marijuanas yeah. marijuanas how'd you like it um, in my younger days, I, it was more fun, and these days, it just kind of makes me tired, and so I kind of avoid it. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah I still love it. I do it on a weekly basis nowadays. Let's see, um, Agent Orton says, uh, did you guys like the classic levels in 2016? Uh, they're, they're cute. I mean, yeah, uh, they, they, were, they weren't exactly fun because the AI wasn't really made to take advantage of them, but they were cute, right? Yeah. Uh, nice little Easter egg. Nice to find. Yeah, uh, I, I love them. Like, not not from a gameplay perspective, just them being yeah. them yeah. there. They're just there. Like, it was it was the first Doom we'd played in, what, like 12 years. So it was, it was like a celebration of legacy. So, yeah, they were great. I should um, mention that they yeah. are canon. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're in the game. They are. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Horizon says, "What is it about God of War games that appeal to you?" I was thinking I'd try them out. Um, God, fucking everything. Uh, uh, the music, the art, the camera direction, the character of Kratos, the story, the combat system, the enemy design, the combo system, the XP system, the upgrades. Uh, like, there's. Basically everything. <laughs> everything I could like about a video game, I like in God of War. True. Right, <laughs> the first three God, God of War games were good. I think Ascension was decent as well. Although I've Ascension is half of that. Ascension is over hated because it's like there was already God of War fatigue happening, and uh, it's like. <laughs> the, the story is just not great in, in Ascension. Yeah. The, the, the thing that confuses me is how did 2018 become so popular? Is it just really good marketing? No, I, I mean... It's... Yeah, yeah, I played it. It was decent. Yeah, it's decent. It, in some places. 
but it's like I, I don't want to replay it again. I'm just gonna no, get it's a slog. To death. Yeah. And then in the one in the what, what was the other one? Ragnarok? Mm -hmm. That's like three times worse. It's than the even first more one. of a slog, yes. I, I just I just gave up uh, in that level where like uh, the the kid and like the girl were uh, going through a swamp. I'm like no I Oh, I can't oh Jotunheim. It. Yeah. That's yeah, like I'm the like, worst level ever created. Yeah, I'm like, nope, I can't do this. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm I don't like, blame you. Up abandoned it. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's awful. It's fucking terrible. Thanks, my brother. Oh, the the blinking textures. I love that. Yeah. Right, it's, oh, it's, well. been, it's been four years since this yeah. game released. Four fucking years. Fun. Oh, we got a hope, we got a donation. Hope, hope with with two uh, what are those? Euros. I two think. euros. It says what's it like being the best Doom player? You know what? Oh, it's a it's question been... for me. Oh, look, it says my name in front of it. It's a question for me. All right. Oh my god. Go ahead, go, go go for it, man. What's it like? Um, it's it's incredible, man. Like, you get to be the best player, and. And everyone else is just like worse than you, and it's awesome. But it's also really lonely at the top, you know. Because right. yeah. you're so far uh, yeah. ahead that there's, it is lonely. I imagine, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for asking him. Yeah. You're Thanks so for, far please. above us mortals. Yeah. Definitely. This cutscene, the first time you play this game, this cutscene was the hypest thing, man. Oh yeah. Which? Oh wait. <laughs> we're, we're, we're on the Marauder, we're on the Marauder cutscene. Makes sense that they showed that before the game uh, came out, too. It's time to do the hardest boss fight. Mayor, do you know how to handle this, or should I help you? I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to think about how, how I should handle this. Okay, I so only one, I think there's equip, only one uh, way I can handle it. Equip the, tur the mobile turret, okay? Just no, equip that. No, 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 you, no, should no, no. you should equip... I'm at the top, Mayo. You should listen to my advice. This, this is my stream. This is for your anniversary. I'm going out <laughs> my. I'm going out with my style. This is the end of the end of the stream. This is the last thing we're gonna do. Isn't the mobile turret your style? I like mobile turret. I do enjoy it. I do quite it in enjoy. It. I do. <laughs> yeah. It's it's fun. And we're gonna try to get him in two cycles of ballista grenade full auto and that should take him out nah. why is the marauder wearing like shoes anyway like i want to see his feet you know <laughs> like how i got no reaction oh god he's one of the oh! guys. No, I'm, jo I'm joking i'm joking he's one I of think. them mayo <laughs> Messed up my coordination. I fucked up the whole thing. Oh no. <laughs> I, I still go. don't see it on stream, so. Yeah, I mean, see how badly it got fucked up. Uh, and I don't have I don't have the upgrade for the hot dog tech. That's too bad. Oh yeah, you did fumble. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Okay, uh, so Hump and Doom Penguin, thank you for joining me. This has been a nice little reunion of personalities. For sure. No and problem. thank you to all the viewers who have tuned in to celebrate this day. I, I, I anticipate five year anniversary will be a bigger deal than four year. Because four, I mean four. Who cares about Wouldn't four? Weren't we supposed to get mod support today or something, according to some people? I, I thought, it, like, uh, the, all the rumors are going around and the leaks and stuff, I figured today would be the day it would launch or, you know, like, tr just drop it. And, like a video from, like, Hugh and Marty being like, hey, anniversary, mod tools, public, now. Like, that would have been awesome. Maybe, but maybe they're just not, not ready or something. Yeah, maybe it's just not ready. Or maybe they just never intend to do it. Yeah, but that would be, like, uh, not good and not fun. Yes. Oh, well. But All right, that's well. How, that's how life is. It is. All right, so everybody, thank you so much for your time and for the donations that came in. And uh, we're going to call it there. Everyone have a good day. Uh, 
check back the channel next week for a video on Silent Hill Downpour. Check out uh, Hump and Doom Penguin's channels, and uh, you know we'll all see you all in the next id Software game, whenever that is. Yeah. <laughs>